Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here. <clears throat> I think so. <clears throat> Pardon me, feeling a little clump there. Jeez. A-Train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam for Render Cube Games and Toplitz Productions. Getting these commercials at the beginning of my stream on my laptop here on my left, the, mon the screen I monitor. And it's throwing me off as to, like, when am I supposed to start talking and whatever. So that's screwing things up. But we're going to work on that. So, hope everyone's having a great week. It is Thursday. It means we're heading into the weekend. All right. Everybody's working for the weekend and all that good stuff. Thank you, Loverboy. And we did a, a little 80s deal there with a Loverboy quote. And then some bangles from Less Than Zero. It's a hazy shade of winter. Look around. He's around. There's a patch of snow on the ground. I can't do that as well as uh, Susanna Hoffs. But, you know, that's okay. All right, let's get into this. Let's cut the Willy Foo-Foo stuff and get playing games, huh? I was on uh, hanging out with uh, Gwen the Shield Maiden. Shield Master, Shield Painter, Shield Basher, all that good stuff. Oh, wait, I got to hit X here to stand up. And then I please stand up. Please stand up. All right, here we are. <clears throat> was on with Gwen earlier on her fun and follies um, stream with uh, Captain Chicken Dance and uh, her compadres, the uh, Goofy Goose Heads. So apparently that little update that I thought we got the other day was them taking the Goose Heads back out off the map so they're no longer available. Um, and as I, all I know is they were on the Oxbow. I, had ne I didn't see them here on the valley. <clears throat> so we lost out on that. We will have to get back over to that, though. But for now, let's look at where we're at. It is uh, day three. Uh, and uh, we are looking. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Uh, we are looking at the final day of winter, so I think we need to check a couple things here real quick. Let's see if the fields are prepared. We know this field's prepared. This field's growing. Uh, is this field prepared? It is. It's ready for spring planting. That field's growing. This field's half prepared, half growing. That's the way it should be. And that leaves field six, which we haven't done anything with. We need to go ho-ho-ho that. <clears throat> but you guys let me know. If um, you think, if you want me to go run around and look for stuff to kill, or if there's something specific you want to know about the game, of course, we're always happy to field questions here and all that good stuff. So, All right, so let's get into this. I think we'll just, um, well, first off, let me take a look at my loadout here real quick. We're kind of on the combat light side, and that's okay. We've got plenty of food to get us through the season. Um, let's go do this real quick, just in case we decide to do some spring planting um, in the new field. We want to at least have it set up so that she, our uh, Frida, our worker lady, can do some work with it. So we got fields over here, and we got this field here. So we're going to grub the ground here and get that step taken care of. And then I might even have her um, do the... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Nope, we're not doing that. She's working in the uh, herbalist hut, making us some potions. So um, we might look to rotate some people around because now my brother is here who's your brother a train what are you what are you talking about this is a little different spin on the story okay if you haven't been with us for the whole series okay <clears throat> let me rest here for a second um what i've done is spun the story just a little bit to include family with the concept being the same as the original if you don't know the concept for medieval dynasty at least on the valley map your character is rasimir you, uh, your family's home 
and your uh, was destroyed your family killed uh, during a war and you came to the valley which is where we are to find your uncle Jordan uh, along the way here we have found and we're starting a new life for the family okay um, and we found uh, Unigost who is the Castellan he is the HMFIC for the king that means head mother mm -mm, in charge and uh, <clears throat> met his, his lovely wife uh, did some errands for her. He gave us permission to build wherever we want and to start rounding up my family members because as I explained to him We are refugees all refugees from the war and uh, we are uh, Using the valley as a rally point. There we go. That's all done And so we've rallied to the valley as it were all right and in doing so that uh, has us in a position to I think no I'm not gonna do this no not gonna do that all right let's put these away um, not gonna mess with the chickens what is the problem so we've got everyone here now herbalist hut. oh what's she out of uh oh stamina that's chicory okay that's fine I expected that probably made she probably got like five of them made and that's fine I'll do okay cool so uh, yeah we're gonna need to work on that a little bit more next season to make sure we've got more chicory in stock it takes like five for a potion um, and that's okay not a big deal all right so let's see how much fertilizer we got 177 fertilizer let's go see how the pigs are doing with the poop we got our guy working here so we're collecting poo uh, full-time there's a hundred 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 oh it's full good excellent all right, so 100% poo means there's 10 things of poo per tile. There's six tiles. That means 60 poo, which converts, whoop, we just got a little more, which converts to um, 30 fertilizer. It's two manure equals one fertilizer. We got an extra 10% out of there. All right, very good. Bella, bless you. Yep, mm -hmm, thanks. All right, so we're going to go make this fertilizer here real quick at the workbench. I'm going to do R, E, F. And get this show on the road. And let's roll over here and throw the rest of this fertilizer in here, hopefully. Oh, it's going to be, oh, no, we're okay. We're all right, I'll wait. Okay, good. Okay, so now the question is, do we want to plant anything in that field in uh, spring? And we have time to kind of decide that. That said, uh, let's take a quick look at our food storage situation and see what we got and what we can get rid of because we're we're, clo we're closing on 500 kilos here of food i mean i'm i'm short a few buckets of water and that's okay <laughs> excuse me um let's look to sell the eggs we're gonna make one run into town i think um we got pottage we got soup we got stew <sighs> this stuff's just getting old and this is the problem I have with um, the the game. Your people, uh, and we've gone over this a number of times, but in case you didn't know, uh, they, there's a, in your management tab, there's, oh, excuse me, management tab, right? Um, you have people's demand control. Okay, so this is the people's demand, and this is how you control it. That's how to read that. So your food items, water items, and wood items. Wood items we talked about ad nauseum. Turn off sticks, logs, and planks. They can't burn them. Then you know exactly how much firewood you need by taking the daily demand divided by five because each firewood equals five BTU. We're going to use that, say BTU is what this number is. So each firewood is five BTU. So in this case, we're going to say this is 400. So that means we need 80 <coughs> BTU per day. So we need 80 firewood per day. That's why it says there's 490. We got 98 stored. 98 times 4 is 490, okay? 
So we've got enough to get through the day, through the winter here, and then we'll be in the spring where the, the amount drops. It's dynamic. This number of use is dynamic based on A, your village growth, and B, the season. We're not really growing the village anymore. So now it's based on the season. It is highest in winter, lowest in summer, and it's in between spring and autumn. So you want to try to see if you can establish a number that kind of balances that with a little more production than required in spring and summer, so, or spring and autumn. So then you are ahead of the game come winter. Okay, simple. Um, so yeah, so you take this number, the, the demand, divided by five, all right? That's the number of firewood you need to make per day. You figure that out based on your uh, production at your um, woodshed, okay? So here we are making basically 10 firewood per day. That means we're making fit, um, we're doing 10 logs per day. So we're making 40, okay? Because you get four firewood per log, all right? So 10 logs times four is 40, which means we're making 200 BTU worth of heat per day. Okay, and that number, um, we knocked it down a little bit. I'm going to actually bring it back up just so we recover out a little bit better. And yeah, let me get that to 12. That's good, 12 and a quarter. Yeah, okay. So that'll put this over, that'll put that at 50 a day, basically, I think. 12 times 4 is 48 and 49. All right, and then that's 250 BTU per day, all right? So you saw the need is basically 400. We had some stockpiled. So this is, it, it helps. You don't want to store a crap ton of anything. You want stuff moving. You want it making money or doing something for you. Does that make sense? You want things moving and grooving. Firewood's one of those things. If it starts piling up and you have 3,000 wood, and your demand's 500, you're never gonna burn through it. You could either retask your guy or change those production numbers around and bring it over to the resource storage building, take a couple hundred of it out and drop it right there on the floor next to the trunk. Your people cannot access if it's sitting on the floor, but it also doesn't count against your weight limit in here. All right, make sense? Cool. All right, so here's people's demand control for food. This is the popularity of items. Okay. We can't make any of this stuff up here with the pies and tarts until we unlock the tavern. Excuse me, I had a little almond stuck in my teeth there. We can't make cheese or breads until we un and, and porridge with apple, I think, until we lock, unlock kitchen two. Okay. So the best thing we can make, because what we want to make is wheat bread, that's the best bread you can make pound for pound. We did we did this video a while back. It's in my Oxbow playthrough, okay? And cheese. But your people are gonna eat whatever is available at the top of this list, from the top down. They're not asking for, hey, can we have some pottage and can we have some cabbage and can we have some apples and you know, uh, you know beetroot and what, they don't, they don't do that. They consume everything that's at the top then they move to the next thing down the list and consume everything there and the next thing down. All right, makes sense? So um, the issue here is we have plenty of pottage. We're making pottage. Our uh, chef lady is making it. So we're keeping up with villager demand. That soup and that stew that I had stored, it's not going to do any good, okay? Because they're never going to get to it. With having a small, excuse me, as small a village as we have, I mean, we only got like 15 people. Okay, we're never going to get to it. I'm down here eating the stuff that's lower down the priority list. Like I've got the um, uh, roasted fish meat, roasted fish meat. Yeah, roasted fish meat's my jam. That's plus 17 food, which is good. We're using regular meat. I've got that turned off so people can't access it because I use it and our chef uses it to cook. We can make um, soup with four meat, three beetroot, and one bowl, or we can make pottage with three meat, two cabbage, and one bowl. Uh, these onions are useless at this point. Oh, wait, don't turn them off. I think it, so let's get in here and get the, these are stuff I'm picking up off of uh, bandits. 
So we're going to grab that. I'm also going to look for anything that's below 50%. Uh, this pottage is below 50%. It'll drop another 12 point. Oh, this pottage here is going to go bad. You know what? We'll grab that and try to go sell it. We'll grab this and try to go sell it. Uh, let's take this too. We'll just take whatever we can get for it. Okay, cool. That should be plenty. All right, good. Now we can make some more. I guess we're getting kind of close on weight. Um, trying to think of where we would want to run here. <clears throat> hmm. Where do we want to go sell this stuff? Roasted fish meat. Yeah, see, we're really, we're really trying to simplify. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? Actually, here, let me grab the rest of the apples. Actually, I'll grab most of well, let me see. Cancel. I got a couple of apples on me. Let me grab. Okay. I'm going to be bringing back anything I don't consume this season, which is not going to matter because at the end of the season, your food and water resets when you sleep overnight, changing seasons. Excuse me. So... You don't want to keep that stuff in your pocket because it will rot 50%. Once it's below 30%, it's inedible. It'll poison you. Because um, that girl is poison. Never trust a big butt and a smile. Um, so here's what we're going to do. This is our little... Um, people, people build the composting bin, and it just has flies buzzing around it, which is just gross to me. I, I don't know if they had composting bins back in this per time period. If they did, that's great. Whatever. I just put stuff. You can just drop it on the ground. I like to keep it organized in a wicker crate because wicker crates are cool. Those are my favorite little utensil thingy around here. Okay. So let's uh, set out and see what time it is. It's 10 o'clock. <sighs> you know something? We're going to start this story. Let me go grab these two bottles of oat ale. And we'll go talk to Unigost. I know how it goes. You may not. So just stick around. Oh, let's see if there's any other crap we can go sell. We're pretty close on weight. I do not want to sell the oat ale. Do not let me sell it. For God's sake. Oh, God, it's the last thing I need. Moose skull, we're going to um, work. Uh, uses decorations in the houses. Do, 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 we're just going to make up some extra cash here before um, spring comes around. We have to pay taxes. All right, wooden bowls, that's fine. We could make some extra stuff, but we're getting really close on weight here. So, oh, you know what? But but are we? How, hmm. Inventory, how much does pottage weigh? Weighs 4.25. I'm, I'm not getting a good feel here for how much that weighs. Nine is six point three. Oh God! I gotta break out the fancy phone. Nine and oh, it's point seven each. Got it. I think point seven. Because seven times eight is fifty six, isn't it? Right. Seven times eight is fifty six. Am I right on that? I think it is. If that, I don't need the weather app, doofus. I got my fancy phone out and hit the wrong button. Let's see. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's 0.7 each. Okay, so that means 10 of them would weigh 7 kilos. So let's grab enough crap to make 10 fresh ones, and we'll go sell that. That'll make some money. And I'll get rid of these uh, older bowls in the inventory. So that's 8 FEF. And then we'll take two more. Boom. Actually, we'll make soup. Soup. Will... Oh, there's the kiddo. Finally decided to get his butt out of bed. All right, so we need for soup. We're making 10 soup. So we need nine more. We need 40 meat. And then we need 30 beetroot. Four, three, one. Okay. So kids, stay out of the way. I got a loaded crossbow and I don't want to shoot you accidentally. All right. So we go here, we go here, we go here, R, E, F, make 10 things of soup, because mama taught us how to make soup. 
No. All right, we're done. Cool. Now, let's go. So, we'll go weapons hot, and we have the oat ale. We do not want to. S all right, kid. Stay close to the house. All right. So he's two now. So that just means you know, sixteen more years before we can take him over. Hooray! <laughs> all right. Some of the trees grew back. That's super cool. I do like the fact that how the the um. Oh, jeez. Dude, what are you, what is your, who are you? Tomo. Okay, what is he doing? What's Tomo's job? I don't know. Just look at the freaking sheet. He's a miner. Oh, he was gathering stuff. Okay, whatever. I don't know what he's gathering stuff over here for. Unless he was gathering straw. Do I have him gathering straw? Huh? Excavation shed. What are you doing, Tomo? Oh, I do have a gathering straw. Gather closer to the village, dork. I don't think we need straw. We got a ton of straw, so we're going to cut that weight down. I don't think we need clay anymore. We're going to cut that down. We're just going to go with copper ore. That's not bad. 15 and a half per day. Okay, cool. So we're a little overweight. That's okay. If you're as long as you're within about five kilos of your max weight, it won't be too much of a penalty on your your speed, right? So if you're trying to go top speed after the ice cream man, it won't be too big a deal. I like how the sticks stand out though, as it were. I mean, just, if you want to collect steak, winter time's a good time because it, it makes it easy to see. I have foliage turned down to low, though, but that also helps the GPU aspect of the computer and everything. I uh, also have shadows at low, but you can see shadows. So that's, you know, that's good enough for me. Foliage being turned down to low makes it easier for you to see stuff on the ground. Just saying. All right. So we go see Doby. Doby, Doby, Do. And see if she's got any money left. I don't know if she does or not. I Hello there. Nope. She ain't got no money. Like it's good, girl, house. but you ain't got no money. Let's go see. What would you all do without me? You oh, Adelina hey, preferred the old Castellan. She didn't have any money either. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, all right, let me go see the cow guy. Sobibor. Who's this? Cybor. Sobimir. Yeah, him. Oh my god, he's got no money. Have I cleaned everybody out in this town? Holy shnikey. Excuse me. Pardon me. Alright, so I guess I have. So there's them, and then there's dude in the... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I have. Alright. Um, what time is it? 11.42. Alright, where is... Alright, here he is. Let's go see Unigas so we can at least get these beers out of our hands and get this story started, alright? So let's... Let's talk to him. Hey, you know, back bearing beers. A job well done indeed. All right, let me wet my throat with this amber goodness and start reminiscing. I knew Jordan, that was our uncle, for 22 years before he died. He was my best friend and truest friend. A brother, actually. I remember the day we met as if it were yesterday. Oh, boy. I was 25 at the time, living in the big city of Jellenberg, where I was born. You could say I hated that place, but still the only home I ever knew. Maybe someday I'll tell you about that. Anyway, I was forced to take care of my own, so I did, doing the only thing I could do, stealing. You were a thief? I was, and a bloody good one, if I might say. you got commercials, so you're not missing anything here. Let me see this stupid crap here. All right, cool. Uh, picking pockets was my bread and butter. I could steal a piece of steak right from your fork. You wouldn't even notice. It, was a, it wasn't greed that motivated me, just survival. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy the process. Stealing is still a crime, no matter the motivation. I'd say you'll want to wait and hear a bit more before getting all high and mighty on me. I'm sorry, go on. But an annual festival at Yellenberg, it always brought a whole bunch of outsiders to town. You can imagine what that meant for a man in my profession. I could do a day's worth of work in a matter of minutes. I grabbed a few coins here and there, some jewelry, and a pair of boots, new boots. And then I saw a nobleman with a money bag strapped to his belt. He was basically begging to be set free. 
I sneaked up behind him in the crowd like I did a thousand times before Child's Play. G gently grabbed the pouch, did a little shimmy magic, and there it was, sitting neatly in my palm. Just needed to turn around and disappear like always, and then wham! 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 I was punched in the face by what felt like a bull. And then I, I was so shocked I didn't even realize what happened until I hit the ground. My head was pounding, I could barely see straight. And you know... What the first thing I, what was the first thing I saw next? Another blow coming. Ha ha ha! No, a big a smile, a big radiant smile on the face of a man with two different eyes. It was your uncle Jordan, the one I took for a nobleman. He stuck his hand out, helped me get up, and offered me a beer. Wait, he did realize you were just trying to rob me. Of course he did. I don't get it. That's how Jordan was. You see, your uncle was deadly clever, smartest man I've ever known, hands down. He could see the world like nobody else, predict things. He was always at least a dozen steps ahead of anyone else. So on a rare occasion that somebody surprised him, he was intrigued, and he wasn't expecting you. Indeed. Apparently, even despite my failure, I was still the one that came closest to robbing him. And he liked that. So I'm guessing you accepted his invitation, right? I didn't really have a choice, did I? I was terrified of the guy at the moment, so we went. He took me to the most expensive and most crowded tavern in the whole town. Remember, that it was the day of the festival. Even entering that place was next to impossible. He didn't seem to care, though. In a matter of seconds, we were sitting at a table being served by two barmaids at the same time. It was surreal. In my mind, there was only one explanation. He owned the place. And did he? Not at all. Oh, okay. It was his first time in Jellenberg. Jellenberg? Whatever. It all felt like a dream, to be honest, especially me still being dazed after the punch. I was still sure he was noble in his manners, clothes, the way he talked and moved, and then he was chugging beer like it was a race. Wiped his face with his sleeve and burped like a drum. He went from the Lord to the savage, just like that. I was I re relieved. I relived that moment. Excuse me. Relived that. <laughs> I relieved myself after I drank too much beer or water. And I relieved that. Relieved, relived that moment a dozen times until I realized why he did that. It wasn't a mistake. Oh no, <clears throat> no laziness, no moment of weakness. He wanted me to see it to understand. To understand what. He was full of crap. Ha, ha, ha. You see, Rasimir, your uncle was one of a kind. He was a true master of arms. His weapon of choice was his confidence. What does that even mean? Imagine a closed door, two armed guards inside, and you want what's inside. What's your options? You can force yourself in, bribe the guards, try to pick a lock. But Jordan, he just holds his heads up by, walks right in, and demands the door to be open. Nah, it sounds made up. Hi, it surely does, doesn't it? I and the pack were the only ones who had seen... Behind the scenes of Jordan's show, and even it was, even for us, it was unbelievable at times. Wait, the pack? Oh, oh dear, Rasimir, there's so much where you still don't know. Our story hasn't really begun, but it's getting late. Well, you can't just leave me hanging like that. All right, I'm going to tell you a bit more. After beer we had, we had a couple more, and then some more meat, if I remember correctly. We were talking about our past, our dreams, convictions, started making some drunk and absurd plans. I thought we were joking, to be honest. Next thing I remember was waking up in silk sheets. I'm guessing they weren't yours, correct? Are you kidding? It was the first time I ever touched fabric like that. The ceiling in the chamber was so high it could fit a giant. I thought I was dreaming. Then the servants walked in. I was ready to flee. Instead of fighting me, they presented me with breakfast. Really? How come? It was all Jordan's doing. I've never found out how he managed to pull it off. Whenever I asked, he burst out in laughter, even years after. Needless to say, I left Yellenberg with him on that day. First time I went outside the town's walls and never came, came back. That was the day the pack was born. Three years later, there were five of us, a real team, a family. We called ourselves the Reminders. Oh, how I wish I could have been there. It all sounds incredible. I've never had an adventure like that and probably never will. Easy, my boy. It wasn't all fun and lovely. But it's a tale for another time. It is. It really did get late, and I'm sure you still have a lot of work to do. Come and find me tomorrow. We'll talk some more. I'll do that. Thank you, for, thank you, Unigos, for everything. All right. So we got to go back and see him tomorrow. That said, let's get our ass across the river. Let's see how much time we just wasted. Freaking two and a half, three hours. Boo. Now, if you've gone through that once... I mean, it's really, you know, it's like a choose-your-own-adventure book. You just click, 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 click. Just get through it. Just knock it out. <laughs> Plow through that crap, hey, Uber. And uh, then you can move on to, uh, you know, bigger and better things. Oh, I'm still feeling the effects of uh, the beer there, I guess. Let's see. Did I already clear this out? I think I did. Yep. There's just like seven coins in there. In fact, there were exactly seven coins in there last time. All right. A quick sip of water here. Now we got a production issue. Let's check this out. What is the production issue? It is 
in production, I'm sure. Smithy seems to be the problem, officer. Probably out of tin ore. Not how did I know that? Hmm. Strange. All right, so here's what I want him to do. I want him to make the hell out of copper bars right now. Make as many as you can. That's just going to clear out inventory. Um, because uh, you, it takes two ore to make one bar, okay? Each ore weighs one kilo. So if you have 100 ore, that turn you make that into 50 bars, and it cuts the weight from 100 kilos to 50. So we got 78 copper ore. We got 21 copper bars. Let's see how many uh, tin bars we have. We can't do anything with uh, with 14. We got one tin ore. Okay. So at some point, we're gonna probably have to jog up there and see what we can hack out of the cave. But not right now. We're on a mission. You better just listen. Two more rhymes because I'm all looking about dissing cuz. It takes two to make a thing go right. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. We appreciate you giving us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about Medieval Dynasty. Hello, Five Or. It's happening. Yeah, you got some money. All right. Uh, buy a bunch of these apples. Buy them apples. And go ahead and buy these. No, I'll keep those. Buy these eggs. Also, we got manure we're going to hold on to. Buy all this pottage. Um, I'll put that back. Buy the soup. That's right, I made fresh soup. Buy the stew. The only problem is this is knocking down the number of bowls we had available, but that's not a big deal. And that should be it. Down the 20, just under 20 kilos. Why did I, Oh, because when I made uh, fertilizer, I guess there was one left over. I didn't catch it. Uh, hey, buy these. Oh, that's just less crap for me to have to carry around. Okay, cool. Good Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. <clears throat> All right. We still are looking for a woman for my brother. Who's that? Swibor? No. Sulagost. Right? Sulagost. No. Sulagost has been around. Sobibor. Soby Boar is our brother. That's it. Let me write this down. I had forgotten that when we initially met Unigost, he actually tells us that uh, our Uncle Jordan is dead. <clears throat> but whatever. I forget things. All right, so we're looking for a mate for Soby Boar. Maybe one. Whoa, that was weird. Rather, we're not looking for a chick. Damaraka, she's not worthy. Hello? Show me your skills. No. There's dudes. Sausage fest. Nope. Galloway bird. Um, oops, wait. We have time. We can. We can do any number of things here we want. Uh, actually, let's um, do this because it is getting late in the day. We're going to Uber. Oh, it's you again. Yes, I need a ride. Take me to Lesnica. Why are you going to Lesnica, eh, train? Because I need to go to Lesnica. Because um, Teobald is here. Dang it. Ugh, sausage hey, fest around the campfire. Oh, it's you again. Yes, it's me again. Show me your wares. Uh, I want to pick up a couple of uh, iron hose. we'll pick up three of them that'll do probably I, I got those um anything else i need off the top of my head i got 28 yeah we could pick up seven of these boom i've got axes i've got i mean i've got so much stuff all things wow. considered all right thanks bud uh all right so we are going to now we are not going to overland that we could overland this to Rolnica, but it's almost 4 p.m. It would probably take us three or four hours to get there, and that's if we didn't catch a fight along the way. So Hello we're going to, hey, 
take me to Rolnica. Because last I recall, there was a bunch of chicks around the fire here. So maybe one will be worthy of our brother's affection. I always tried set my big brother up. He was always a little bit on the shy side. I didn't care. Oh, there's only one chick up here. Where'd all the chicks go? Yumi Slawa. Oh, yeah. You know what? She's the uh, sales chick in uh, in uh, the Oxbow. All right. We're already 16, 14. All right. We're, oh, geez, Louise. Now what? Herbalist Hut. Okay. What are we out of now? Out of, we're out of wooden vials? What? Okay, I guess we're done making stuff for the season. She she's got one in the pro in progress here. So she should be able to get that done. So what we need to do here is then look at the workshop and actually have them make Dang it, can I get? How is life treating you? All right. Run me over the toot key then. We're jetting around here pretty quick. Uber's so much cheaper though. That's awesome. That's great. I got I, I get points with Uber. There's nobody here to talk to. Okay. Well, how are you? Um, you ride. Where am I going? Brant Brannica's closer. Let's just go check Brannica. And since we're here, I may have I may just run by the cave real quick and get some tin ore. All right, we got a lady here, Milo Slawa. Uh, she's not bad. She's not bad. Eh, she could be a little stronger in uh, hunting and uh, farming. Don't no, she isn't me. hunting. Wish you were better. I'm too old for this. I'm too young for that. I'm sick of it all. Quit your whining, kid. All right. Let's evaluate this again. She's a hunter and can be a shop owner. So, how does she match up with Sobibor? Sobibor is uh, a 1-3-2-3-3-3. Three, three, three. So, she matches him with threes in both hunting and diplomacy. She's a two in farming and extraction. So, neither one of them is great in that regard. And then, he's a three in survival and a three in production. Now he's a hunter, a smith and, a, and uh, can be a shopkeeper. So the, the two of them kind of have the same weaknesses, which means their kid would have those same weaknesses. So I'm a little tempted to wait. Maybe she'll be here next season. We'll see. But let's run over here and we'll resume. Let's grab. I don't, I don't see any threat. But there's also a threat aspect I haven't taken into consideration. Oh, and that is wolves. Okay, now, so there's tin ore, there's tin ore, there's more tin ore, there's iron ore, there's more tin ore, there's more iron ore in there. Hello, 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 gimme, give gimme. Give okay, there's a stone pickaxe, 60%. All right, so we're just going to rig this up and we're just going to take everything we can get out of the walls real quick here so that's a seven okay and then seven that's a copper deposit we want ten you know something this is gonna be a waste of our damn time all right <laughs> there's a much better way to do this and this ain't it all right so here's what we're gonna do 
We're going to chuck this down right here. Hell with this noise. We're doing. We're going to knock this out. X, drop that. Give me. Don't want the stone one. Don't want the bronze. Give me the iron pickaxe. Okay. <laughs> Let me just pull these out from the wall a little bit. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Iron pickaxe. Slot seven. Okay, it's equipped. Now, oh, I don't have either of the potions, do I? Damn it. Okay, we're going to do the best we can. All right, seven. Let's get all the tin where we can. This is why I make potions of uh, strength, because then it takes one of these wax off. And then um, I do potions of weight because then it adds 20 kilos to your max carry we're gonna be dropping all the stones we pick up though we're going straight for 10 as it so once we're loaded up on 10 we're done and the see now we're already heavy because you wind up getting a lot more um, stones than you do 10 all right but see 59 kilos is freaking stones so now we look, we're at 49. So we got 30 kilos of weight to work with. <clears throat> so we need 30 um, tin ore. See, we got four there. And this is part of the reason why the potion of strength is helpful too. Okay. It only takes three cracks and the, the deposit breaks, <clears throat> which means you're only expending 75% of the energy in addition to 75% of the wear and tear on your, excuse me, on your tool. And I think this is going to pretty much max us out here. So let's drop the stones we got. X, E, F. We're at 76. We can get one more thing. There's two. Come on. You couldn't give me four? Okay, there we go. That'll do. All right, let's get over here to the entrance. We'll leave our tools. Your stuff ain't going to walk off, which is a little odd. I think that's something maybe they should consider changing. All right, and then, uh, so, drop the iron. No, not the iron hoe. I bought that. Iron pickaxe, X. Okay, we're going to step over here. It's 33, it's 86. Let's grab the 33. Okay. All right. There's that. Now, so that, um, nineteen thirteen. Okay. In about the time it would cost a little bit of money for us to Uber over here to ba, 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 Baranica or Branica, whichever the hell this one is. This is where you buy your sheep. Uh, we can run the distance. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. Sheep are going to bed. We're going to see if anyone's at the fire. And if we could get lucky. All right, here we go. We got a couple. Of Shoot, we got one lady. Mirognu. 
Ooh, she sucks. All right, well, we'll take our chance next season. It's 1940. Uh, you know what? How Look, can I help you? One last check. Take me to Denica. Take a left. Haul ass. And then we can run home from here. This is essentially the closest Uber to home. Well, this, what's nice about our location is the Uber for Denica's on the east side. Lorelei. <gasps> oh, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Ah, she's average at best. She's, she's eight. She's 12 points. But has a one on her thing. Lorelai. Yeah, she's not. Okay. So we could run home from here. All right. So let me let me show you. Oh, we're dirty. All right. So see where we're located? Now look at where I'm at. So we're here. You got Uber on the west side of Gustovia and Uber on the east side of Denica. That's another reason why this is just a primo location. All right. Because that's the close, I mean, that's as close as you can get. Unless you build closer to the town, right? So we'll just hoof it from here and it's a couple minutes back home. Hopefully nothing too exciting is going to occur between here and there. Bad guy camp's not here. Look out there, Lynxy. Jesus! Why are you attacking me? Little brat. Oh, shit. Now Piggy's thinking he's going to get a piece of me. What is it? What did I smell funny or something? I ran right by him. Dirty brat. All right, that pig is looking in our direction. I don't like that. Shit. Oh, he's bleeding. I just put a second shot into his butt. I can't believe that Lynx just up and attacked us for no reason. So that, that is a change. Okay? So be wary of that. Don't step too close to the little... Um, even the, the skittish animals are coming after you now. If you get cl too close to them. Brat... Um, three of these will do it. Got, there's the, the female. He's hurting. I don't want him walking back up in the pig territory because I don't want to have to hunt all the freaking pigs. Got him. Just got to lead him and then catch him in the head. Headshot's the best thing. Okay, there's one. There's two. That's a stick. He bled out all over the freaking woods. This is going to give us a bunch of leather. We prefer to get more... Oh, shoot. How? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, ooh. I didn't think of that. All right. I hear, oh, shit. There's two of them. All right. Let's talk about this. Can we talk about this? Okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. You sure you don't want to talk about this? Good, because I don't either. I just want to collect what's mine and get foe. Shit, what? I just heard something. Weapons out. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, we're clear. All right, fine. Just come on. I'll slow hoof it home from here, I guess. As long as I get home. <laughs> well, I don't want to get home with the freaking meat in my pockets. Where's the dumbass boar? Give me my bolt back. I ain't even taking you. Go. Shoot, this is going to take time. Do what we can to get home. 
damn it. Nope, I just exhausted myself. The, the trick here is we want to get the meat, not that we need a ton of it, but we want to get the meat into food storage before season change. So we're sidestepping, we're, we're, we're strafing. Every day I'm shuffling. Come on, just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep. Bad guys see that and be like, what? Is that guy drunk or something? Where are we at? 22, okay, come on, come on. We're almost home. Almost home. Give me another dandelion that will at least save us a little escape. Go. A little bit of stamina burn. Okay. I think we're going to make it. Chickens and pigs, everybody go to bed. You guys are up past curfew. All right. None of this matters. Oh, the only part that matters is getting the meat here. Actually, we're going to dump all our food. This is, uh, that's actually going to spoil, so we're going to eat that real quick. All that matters was getting the meat, because then we won't lose uh, half of its viability. Okay, we're good. We got an hour and a half. Shoo! Okay, good show. So, actually here. Okay, that takes care of that. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you. All right, let's dump this and this and that and this and all that. Sweet. We're still combat. Oh, because I got. Oh, oh, because I got new tools. I forgot. I got new tools for us. I got some more hose. <laughs> okay. Swell. Consolidate weapons. And I think now we're set. Down, set, and hut. We'll even take a bath here. Put that away clean up before we go to bed. You don't have to do this. It's the end of the season. As long as you got a little bit of food, a little water, you can be dirty, whatever, just go to bed. Or the the game, it'll bring you home. <clears throat> we'll see what the temperature is here in the morning. All right, cool. All right, we got a quest to, do, to handle. Our wife took off and ran. Oh, yeah, the kid's up early even. Jeez. What up, boy? Uh, okay, plus 18. What is 18 degrees Celsius? Second, answering a question.
Maranica. Okay, yeah. Someone asked where they could find sheep on the Facebook group there. Hello, Barla. How are you? How are things in India today, sir? Um, someone asked where they could find sheep. I said Baranica on the Valley and Ostoya on Oxbow. You can buy wool from any seamstress as well. And you'll need shearing shears from a smithy unless you can make them. How's that for an answer? Boom. Yeah, I'm so sad. Oh, okay. So that's my friend Bob and Gail. They live in Florida. They had bad weather in Florida, but um, friends of mine that left this area moved to Georgia. They had Corgi. And I never met him. His name was Haas. He was a cute boy. Very funny. The Corgis are full of personality. And uh, my parents used to have a Corgi, so I have a special affinity uh, for him. Uh, apparently, he had an unknown stomach tumor and just uh, very suddenly died yesterday. It was very sad. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. Oh, I didn't do the math here. Wait, what's what's 18.3? What's the math? Oh my gosh, kid, shut up. Um, you know, I know the equation to this, kind of, sort of. Let me think. How do how you do the equation? Celsius plus 32 times... 9 divided by 5? Let me try that. I took a meteorology class. This is the hardest thing to remember because there's, you, know, you have to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, so let's do 18.3 plus 32. <clears throat> That's 50.3 times 9 divided by 5 equals 61.26. All right, 61.26. Okay, what is... 18.3 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. 64.94. I was close. Oh, here it is, actually. <clears throat> so here's the equation. All right, there's where I went wrong. Wait a minute. No, that's exactly the same. Th well, no, it's not. All right, the formula is, so I did 18.3 plus 32 times 9 divided by 5. The formula is 18.3 times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. So I was close, though, right? I said 61. Yeah, well, I appreciate you being here, bud. Yes, it's the middle of the night there. All right, so let's, let's do that then. So, because I did 18.3 plus 32 equals times 9 equals divide by five equals <gasps> no that's 90 oh I did the math wrong there that was completely wrong I wasn't even close so I must have mistyped something so 18.3 times 9 equals 164.7 divide by 5 equals 32.94 plus 32 64.94 okay so 64 degrees out in the valley right now that's a great temperature it was like that this morning here it's beautiful. I went out and did a mile and a half walk. So we can ditch the fur hood, the bag hat, the joined hose. We'll keep the noble boots on and the gloves. And then we're going to switch over to the felt hat, which still has good warming. Uh, it's plus 14. Uh, and then we're going to go to the simple linen shirt or no simple tunic. That's plus 10. And then trousers with cuffs. All right. Kid, close the door. I'm trying to get dressed in here. Oh, shoot. I got the quilted vest on still. Well, that's okay. I can t that's going to be coming off. Simple tunic. Boom. Okay. That should do. Let's put the so, quilted vest back in here. Sweet. That lightens our load. You got your winter clothes, and it really it takes like three kilos off of you. Okay. Sweet. All right, kid. What are you doing? Hello. What'd you find? Oh, one clay. Thank you. I'll take a closer look at you. Okay. His mood's 45. Okay, that's good. No, that's her mood. Oh, what am I looking for here? I'm not looking for whatever. All right, hey, hold up. Hey, kid, hold up, hold it. Stop. 
Mood 44. Oh, there's steaks over here. Why the hell? I put those away. Those are from back when I first started the village. All right. You guys are clay. That's awesome. Steak. Okay. So now, we need to get our girl back in the field. So, herbalist type is Frida. And we're going to put her back in the farm shed. And, whoops, back up. Put do here. Frida. Okay. Now she'll get busy with the stuff we want her to do. So now we got to go back to the herbalist hut and tell her not to make anything. Because now we're going to have um, more wooden vials coming in. Let's see if any buildings are damaged while we're at it. That, that, okay, those are good. Those are good. Those are good. You'd see a little schmutz out here if something was damaged. Those are good. Oh, food storage one is damaged. Let's go see what we need for it. Oh, the roof is, the roof is busted up. Anything else? So what you do is whip out your hammer and you click it over to repair mode and then you'll see. We need like four straw. Okay, easy enough. <laughs> now if we insulated this with um daub it would really upgrade the um excuse me folks y'all just sit right where you're at Pulling weeds, because y'all could do that, but you, you can't do that. Okay. Yeah, talking about Jack Sparrow. That's pretty funny stuff there. Okay. Um, let's get the field set up here. So this, that's winter wheat. It won't be ready till summer. So she's going to plant cabbage here. The two rye fields are ready to be harvested. We could go do those. The flax field needs to be planted. The beetroot field needs to be planted. So, oops, I didn't do anything. That's okay. So farming, uh, let's grab our scythe. And we're going to go grab the stuff. All right, go up here and get the rye. All right, go in third person mode. Keep your secrets. That should be about right. Make sure I'm facing west. This is just kind of how you clear the maximum amount per swipe until you do that. So we need to be just a touch to the right, and we're good. We'll face the cardinal direction. Cool. Now we're going to go south, shut it, pigs. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Cool, that takes care of that. Let's run over here and clear this out. And then we're going to have her reseed all this for oat. And we use that to make animal feed. Oat and rye. You are much more efficient than your, your villagers, okay? So if, if you want them to do the dirty work, it's cool. But you do the hard stuff, it'll make life much easier. They'll make it much, especially on short seasons. Boom. See, that's done. The harvest is done now. Okay, and she's she's uh, already putting out flax seeds. So now what we need to do is go in and tell her what we want to do in these two fields. So that's going to be this field needs beetroot. And it's already set. So I'll tell her what she needs to do. The field we just did field two. So we go in here. And we need to set this up for oat. So double click on that. 
drag it across here, stop field editing, make sure everything looks like it's supposed to, hit escape and take accept. And then here, same deal. Oat, whoop. And actually just hit escape and then hit accept. And see now it's shifted the, the numbers over here. <clears throat> and then the fields are gonna show gray, which is unfertilized. Okay, so she's got three days to deal with that, but I wanna get the flax field planted first. Actually, actually, hang on. Instead of putting cabbage in this field, I'm gonna have her put flax there too. That'll be 90 tiles of flax. That's already fertilized, so. All right, so now, change that to flax, see that? So it's unfertilized, but now she knows to put flax there, and that'll harvest in the summer with our winter wheat. Boom, confetti. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can put the scythe back. We got all this, um, all this rye to deal with, so we're gonna deal with it, okay? We're going to the threshing floor. Now, if we run short on stuff for her to do, which we shouldn't, there's a couple different ways we can do it. Well, you know what? It could, well, it can, ugh. make up my mind, A train. Yes, I know. I got it. All right. So oat grain, rye grain, and straw is what you need to make um, animal feed. Okay. And put this couple of rye in here with the six rye where they actually could thresh that. So let's just grab, I think you guys have five minimum. Uh, seven, okay. Smack that, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to put the straw in here. Now, if we have her come work here in the barn, she can draw from these resources, but it also makes it easier for us, okay? It, it makes it so much easier for you, the player, if, you know, you have stuff here. We could, at this point, take all this rye grain, because that's an insane amount, and sell it or turn it into flour and make um, stupid flatbread, in which case we'd want to get onions too, but I don't want to deal with that. It's just dumb. It's dumb. What we want is kitchen, uh, kitchen two. We are a long ways from it though. So you know what? No. Nope. We're going to stick with making what we're making. Now that said, let's check the sewing hut. Let's make sure she's got what she needs. Do, do, do flax. Yep, flax stalks, 41. All right, that's not a lot left. That's only enough to make six more linen thread, which I didn't look to see what we got. So we got 66 and then 46 linen fabric. Um, so that's not bad. 1,200, oh, you know what? Let's take this poo out of here. And we can just go make fertilizer and chuck that in here because remember you're the you're the most efficient villager you've got. All right, so then I think hey, and then you pick up an extra a new level of farming, and then we got one more thing to make here. Well, there was only one. Oh, I guess we used them up. I know there's one more manure in here. Why would there be one more manure in here, eh, Train? You just picked all the manure up. But then again, there could be a manure because the guy could have just picked some up. If you picked one up, just like that, boom. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of dumb to be running back and forth like this, but whatever. There's more exciting things to do. I know. We need to go make a, a runabout. And, okay. So now we're going to see... We do not have enough space for all this. So 48 kilos sits out, and we'll just drop that here beside. 
cool. As she goes along and fertilizes the other fields, it'll clear that out, and then we'll put that right back. All right, cool, got it, cool. Um, we need to go pay taxes, and we need to go see Uncle, or uh, we need to go see Jordan. Crap. Uh, give me all seven. And I'll drop two in there. And <laughs> we got some daub. We should have how much clay do we have? We have a lot of clay. We got some clay vials in case we need to make potions that require it. We got tons of leather. That's getting to be a bit of a sticky wicket. And what do we have that's freaking taking up so much weight? 123 kilos of stone. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Logs? Not really. Leather is a lot of weight. I mean, we still got 800 kilos available to us, but... And see, we could take this out. Like these pickaxes, we could take those and go put them over in um, the excavation hut. That would help. 60 kilos of fur. <laughs> firewood, we got 70. All right, so let's look at the firewood situation real quick. So see, it's down to 264, okay? Right? And we know we're producing 250 per day. Ooh, that's still below. Oh, wait, we got points to allocate. We're at tier 7. That gives us one extra point. Um, Okay, so we got two points coming in tier eight. One, so we have five more points coming. We've already taken the village whistleblower, which allows you to summon your mount by whistling. Um, farming master, yeah, skilled writer, that probably be good. Uh, carrot and stick, if you need to carry a bunch of stuff, and faster writing, eh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be getting them out because Uber's too cheap. I mean, the only thing that would be beneficial to that is if we parked, you know, like a donkey or a horse over at Uber, then Ubered around the map, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, I know what I was doing. I know what the hell I'm doing here. We want um, 40 of these balls. So two of these, 38 of these, 38 special. There we go. We need to load up on our daily food or our combat food loadout. So we're going to take some roasted fish meat. We've shortened the, the lines up here, which is good. Uh, we'll take a couple, three things of cabbage. And these apples. Okay, now uh, we have 40 bowls, so we need 120 meat. And we need 80 cabbage. So you get the oldest stuff that you got. And then just take a big hawk and chunk of that. Okay? Cook the old stuff first. All right? That way you get it out of your inventory and then you just get it out of the inventory. Okay? And then we should have enough here to make 40. There we go. Slowly but surely, and don't call me Shirley, we're going to get... Uh, kitchen two unlocked but you know what we're, we're not making this a race you know what I'm saying all right kid don't go in there and get burned all right you know little dork okay let's head over to Gustovia so we can go pay our taxes and I guess see the old man and get whatever the heck the second part of his story is and then we're also looking for a woman for our brother Sobibor. While we're here, we're going to cut through here and look for a pile of stuff and have no luck. Jesus, that's me moving in the water. Oh, that creeps me out. Okay. So there, there could be uh, like a fishing spear and some stuff there. Oh, there's barrels over here, though. Anybody there? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Hey, 
if they get their act together and they make the, the spawn points more random, that's going to take some work to redo all this. All right, anybody up here? No? Okay, cool. Nobody's there. So you would see at this point on the other side of these bushes, and that's why I cut a tree down here to clear the view. You'd see a pile of stuff. Okay. Now the winter camp is up here. There's also t there's Tatanka up there, so be careful. But we've also seen now that it spawns uh, other than winter. Plum tree seedlings. Okay. And smoke grain. Cool. Whatever. Pardon me. Mm, excuse me. All right, so I put a picture up on the community tab earlier. If you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed yet, please do so. Really appreciate you helping the channel out. and Hope you are entertained. We literally have thousands of hours of videos available here for your entertainment. I mean, you could, you could watch them on the toilet for the rest of your life. I'm just saying. We got so much to watch. Um, I hope it's entertaining. I try to be funny. You know, and informative. If you have questions about the game, put those down in the comments or chat. I am happy to help, you know, if you're new to the game, if you have questions, all that stuff. All right, so we know that pile of schmutz over there had seven um, coins in it last season. It's not going to have any this season. This is new. One, two, three, four, five. Four wheat? Okay, never mind. We only have four. Now, we can run over to the bridge because there's sacks. Uh-huh. The sacks sitting over there. All right. This will have grain or something in it. There you go. Like I knew what I was doing. Oh, there's a couple more hot plants for the, for the farm. Okay. So now let's... Now, there can be packages of crap along the river here in the weeds now. That changed a while back. So, like, right in this area here, you want to swing by and check that out. That's free, easy, free stuff. Now, also, if you build kind of in the area where I'm at and you need to move stuff around, build your resource storage building right there. It's as close as you can to Uber. That way you can just haul it over here, jump on Uber, and go to any city and sell it. Village, I should say. If you just kind of run along through the water's edge here, you'll, you may stumble across packages or something, some lost crap or something. I mean, when early game, free stuff is, is awesome. And it's just really nice how they've done the, the river's edge here now. They haven't fixed all of it. I mean, there was areas we just saw over there where it's still really steep in and what have you, and that's cool, but this is cooler. No, uh, no, wrong. Doby Slawa. Tell me. Ah, oh, dang, she sucks. Who's this? Dagmara. How can I help you? What's up? Mm, give me some money. Oh, dang it. I, uh, she'll make more. Uh, we're selling. No, we're not selling the apples. Keeping that's part of our combat load. Oak grain, plum tree seedlings, pottage. That's what we're selling here. Feed the family tonight. I must. What? 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 What's, oh, dang! I took all our money. How can I help you? <clears throat> all right, let's go see Unigost. And we are going to skip to the loo. Let me, Lisa Lawa. Oh, she's got a mission. Do not, do not take on Alwyn. Alwyn sucks. Don't waste your time with him. We'll keep the hot plant seedlings. Oh, he's got, we got 11 pottage left. We cleared her ass out. Wait, what? And take that. Cool. That gets us, aside from the tree seedlings. Like you know what? Here, Edwin. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, here, take the se tree seedlings too. I don't want those. I think we, we got more than, more than enough trees planted we're not going to be using anyway. We're just taking the fruit and selling it. All right, where are you, butthead? Here you are. All right, <clears throat> so here we go. Hello, Rasmere. How are you getting settled? The valley's streaming nicely. That's wonderful. But you come at a poor time. My dues are casting away me, of course. Everything all right? I'm sure to be honest, there's been a murder. Oh, that's not good. 
I'm just about to go to the crime scene and question witnesses. I honestly don't know what happened. Remember, everybody lies. I'm sure you'll take good care of the matter. Time will tell. Jokes aside, really serious matter. I won't be able to share any more stories with you at the moment, but I believe there's someone you should meet. His name's Sam Bohr. He's one of us, the pack, I mean. He lives here in the valley. I'll go there right away. Okay, now, here's the other thing we're going to do. Yes. There. All right, cool. Got that paid. All right, so we are going to go see Sam Bohr. Now, it's 1 p.m., <clears throat> but on the way... And this is where it gets to be a pain in the ass because Sambor is way the hell up here. So we could go through Borowo, check the availability, or we can go east and check the campsites and then go up there. And then we'll probably cut back across to Baranica. So somebody send a carrier pigeon over to my wife let her know I'm probably going to be late for dinner. Just leave it in the fridge or, you know. Covered up, leaving in the fridge, all that stuff. I don't need to look over there. I don't want the crap. The crap along the river's edge kind of sucks. Oh, you know what I do want? I do want to refill on a little bit of plantain here. We're going to combat. I don't want to. This is plus five. That'll do. 28. That's, you know, that's a lot. All right. So we are going to be looking for trouble and I'm talking about trouble that starts with a T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool all right we're not going to bother checking the left side we're going to look here there's not a crash card again all right I want to get the upper I want to get the high ground here so we're going to actually work across this direction towards the triple waterfall camp and see if we find it if you guys have been with me for a minute, you kind of you know I know the routine through here, okay? All right, doesn't look like anything spawned over here. We we're gonna go check for the uh, the hooligans, the highwaymen. All right, yep, nothing here. Let's get saved up on our stamina. Check that way. Check this way. All right, we are just going now. Here's the bushes. We're going this way. We're looking. We're looking. We're looking. I do not see. A crash cart or any bad guys so clear there so now oh, damn it there's a fox I'm worried about these old bastards coming after us now for no reason all right that camp's not there very good all right double back stay away from foxy I because I hate to ha start shooting them again I'm a moratorium on hunting foxes and lynx because they're cute and they make cute little noises All right, now we're going to go see if there's bad guys down here, and then we're going to proceed north. And we just wasted an hour. That's okay. All right, so here's your patch of broadleaf plantain, and then here is your viewpoint. Here's your vantage point. All right, see that clear patch I'm looking at right there? That's where the bad guys would be, and the deer just beam in from orbit. Okay, so that's what you're looking for, and there's a shooter, all right? So don't let them get the drop on you. You need, to, you need to draw out the tanks and then engage them up over the edge of the ridge where I just came from so you're defilade to the shooter. And then you come back and engage the shooter by himself. Okay? Make it a... F you never want it to be a, a, a fair fight. The problem is the odds initially are in their favor. Okay? All right, so now we're at full power. We're going to haul ass up this trail here we're gonna watch for a camp on our left we're also going to look for one further out to the right there may be two knuckleheads on the left up here okay don't see them I think they'd be right there okay well We'll see if this gets interesting. There can be bad guys camped down there, too. Now, this is going to be interesting because this is my first time going up here on the new Valley build, okay? And why do I say that 
This is going to be interesting. Well, because the wolves are completely different now. So we're going to quick save. I don't feel like if I get my ass kicked, we're going to start back here. Now, there can be uh, bad guy camps here on the right. The big deal we're looking for, and notice I'm just on the right side of the um, fence, is right up around this curve. So what I'm doing is trying to use the fence as a barrier. If there's aggressive animals on the left, and I don't think there are yet, okay, um, they have to get around that barrier to get to you. So you can extend and escape, or you can prepare yourself and engage. Lynx. Okay, we come over this rise, we should see, okay, white-tailed eagle, fox, okay, they're off to the right. Here's the trick, right here, okay? That spot right there, this little clear area on the map. We haven't detected the wolves yet. There's a freaking bird right in front of us. So let me show you what I'm looking at. That right there. Bad guys will be there with pikes, so it is obvious. But there's also a wolf spawn right over here to our left, okay? We're about to detect it. We're going to try to get through here without dealing with them though. I don't want to deal with them just yet. There is also a um, abandoned camp on the other side on the other trail. All right, so I want to get in here and deal with this knucklehead first. All right. Yeah, you're lost. My name's Rasimir, blah, 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 blah. We were called the Undying Fist. That's a whole lot better name. You're damn right it is, because I came up with it. Everyone loved it. No idea why Unigas lied to you about that. Unigas is just a liar. That's why. Um, let's keep moving here, because I don't want to fart around. He's jealous about your creativity. Huh? Of course he was. I would hear some stories. It's an amazing coincidence because I would love to spend my time telling old tales by the cracking fire. I, no, leave my property. Just take a minute. You don't know what we did. Listen. All right. Blah, 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 blah. You can pause the video and watch. Blah, 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 blah. Pause the video and watch. Blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm doing Alex Lifeson's acceptance speech at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't believe me, look it up. Alex Lifeson, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You start typing in Alex Lifeson, that's what's going to come up. Blah, 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 Grab this shovel. It's a piece of crap. We'll do clay deposits by my house. Go dig up some clay for me. All right. So we got to grab this stupid shovel. Uh, there's a shovel actually sitting over here. Clay pits are right here. I think there's a shovel. There's loose clay at one of them where there is a shovel. Where the hell is the shovel? Where's the shovel, dickhead? <sighs> okay. Oh, we got a production issue. Now, so this is like a double thing of clay pits. On an early build, I um, I built a resource storage building over here because I was coming up here so much. It's like, oh, let me, nice voice, that, voice acting. You like that? I've just, I've been through this so many times it's like, yawn, okay, same crap. What's the problem in the sewing hut? Oh, she's out of flax stalks, and we saw this coming, so that's okay. All right, you know what I want her to start making? Let's see if she can start making flat straw hats or fur boots. Let me see what I can unlock here. I don't think I can unlock fur boots yet. Sewing hut, simple shoes, fur shoes. No, we can't do fur boots yet. Flat straw hats we can do. Boop, boop. 
linen shirts. Those take linen thread and linen fabric. Uh, those actually sell pretty good. But I would like her to burn off some of the leather we have. Let's take that. Linen shirts work. Uh, linen fabric, linen thread, trousers with cuffs. Those sell pretty good too, I would think. Let's take that. Take that. Wonder how much sacks sell for. I don't even know if you can sell the sacks. You can make saddles. You can sell the saddles, but we oh, that would use up our 10 bars, which gives us use for them. I mean, we can make bronze, but we can't make anything until we unlock Smithy 2, which is part of what we're trying to work towards. So um speaking of, we now have restocked. This would burn off some of the weight too. That's why I'm trying to get the fur boots. Sewing hut two is next, and that's where you unlock fur boots. Uh, yeah, right there. Boom. You can't you can't even see what they take. Plus then you can make fabric from wool stuff from stuffs. Um Okay. Oh, we are at Smithy 2. Holy shnikey. I forgot. What the hell? I forgot we were there. Hang on. Back to Smithy 2. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. Unlock that. And that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, while we're at it, let's do that. Uh, we don't need that. We'll take this. And... And... I don't know if this sells worth a crap. I don't want to waste a wool thread on it. Bronze arrows, bronze bolts. Nah, we'll stick with tools. I like tools. Tools are good. All right, now we can start making some shizzle. All right, so let's go back there because I was just farting around with it. Uh, sewing hut. Let's give her something different to make, shall we? I think we shall. Flat straw hats I'm familiar with. I want to, but we want to burn through some inventory. So, let me see how much it's going to take. Make a pair of those a day. Make a pair of those a day. Yep. And trousers with cuffs. I want, oh, that makes one every three days. Let's cut down on the water skins. pair of those a day and make one of those a day yeah I'm gonna cut this amount down too Wow. All right. That guy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that guy is most of the way to another freaking pair of shoes a day. What else can we? That's close enough. That's close enough. All right. Cool. Yes, your pants are 0.99 complete. Sorry. I'm going to stitch on a button and we'll be ready. Come see me tomorrow. Okay. Smithy. Let's go to the smithy because now we can cut back on this he's got to get back on bronze bar production we've got a crap ton of of copper bars put this up to about two these take a crap ton of time to make though i don't know why it's so complicated um we're going to stop making copper axes. Okay. And start making bronze hammers. Hmm. I don't need copper hose either. 
Make bronze hammers. Just saying. Okay, and then that. Okay, that'll do. Till we get through the tin. And what are they doing in the workshop here? Making some vials. That's close enough there. And then we can go. Make buckets. That's a good number right there because that gets us over one here. Make a bucket a day. That's three a season. Yeah, good. Good numbers there. All right, excellent. That should take care of us. Uh, herbalist hut, yeah, that's shut down for the season. Excavation, yep, 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 yep. Bop, 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 bop. Let's see what this guy's doing here. I think we need to up our... Yeah, they got the there that gets us up to fitting we're making 10 planks a day yeah okay that'll work okay cool beans now we got our stuff adjusted. We st I still got to find the damn... There's a damn shovel here somewhere, I thought. Now, th there's all these strange deer figurines. I'm going to take these because these are things you give to your kid. He makes this stuff. And once you finish the quest line... There's the... There's the... Get, this is... Um, yeah, see, there's a whole freaking family of them over here. Oh, and then there's like wine bottles and stuff. There's there's animals out here you don't want to mess with. There's Tatanka, bears, and wolves. But then see there's another set of clay pits over here. So if you need clay, I mean, this is an okay spot, I guess, to come get it if you want. But you're just way the hell away from everything. So I may have to drop a tree here. I didn't see it. Oh, wait. Is there? Damn it. Where's the shovel? I think you're supposed to give your kid like a um, a gift like every year. Where the hell is the shovel? I don't remember ever having to make it. I remember it was just laying on the ground. I mean, I could have cut down a tree and made it by now for frack's sake. You gotta have two logs to make a, a stinking. Could I drop a tree on this guy's head? That'd be swell. All right, so I don't see a shovel. Uh, let me try. <clears throat> Dig up clay deposits too. Okay. And, and figures, everything up here is stinking maple trees. Oh, and you can't cut these down here. I could just use a birch tree. Is this blocked? Oh, shoot. They've created a blocked zone. Damn it. Oh, my gosh. There we go. All right. One, two. Um, all right, we got the shovel. Oh, hell, he gave us one. Oh, for F's sake. Uh, 
that's all we need to do. So now we can come back over here, throw the shovel in his face, smack him in the head. I'm just going to chuck it down here because there's just no reason to carry it with us. I'm going to take the other one, throw the other one down too. How do you do? Have a good day. Wait, what the hell just happened? I thought we did what we needed to do. Oh, I didn't, shoot, I got five of five clay, but I didn't dig up a second deposit. Dumbass. Read the frickin' manual. All right, now, there it goes. All right. Finish the story, listen, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. No remorse. Came up with a plan. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Betting his wife. So the king's wife. Mm hmm. Blah, 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 blah. And all this foo foo stuff. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so how'd you join the pack? Rats, angel fingers, humble to the bone. You leave me alone. You want me to give him a punch in the face? Yeah. All right, so yeah, you're you're supposed to go over and give um, Unigast a punch in the face. All right, here, have a shovel there, butthead. Now we are going to get hot time is it we're not going to make it back over to see Unigost this evening so we're going to try to make we're going to take this path here and we're going to make the run to Baranica uh, threats will be pigs on the right in the swamp and a possible bad guy camp on the left now there is now see there's boar oh hello That's nice. Uh, I'll take the logs. I don't think it's going to overload us. We'll definitely take this. There's our food reserve. Okay, we don't need that crap. We don't need the stone axe. Uh, if you go up over this rise, there can be an abandoned camp on the left. Boar, like I said, are in the swamp. So stay, stay frosty. And then we're going to be watching for bad guys on the left. Pigs on the right, bad guys on the left. And apparently Lynx now. It would be a pain in the ass. There can be a camp on the left here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. Just, just trying to stay light on my feet. Just keep moving. Just is this creepy at night? It's creepy. It creeps me out. Okay, now I think we take the right fork to go direct Baranica. Fox through here. There's a little thing to jump in. You can get some um, straw if you want to build up in this area. Not a big fan. There's lots of maple trees, which is terrific. Um, there, it, it, the terrain's not terribly flat. I mean, you're close to one village, but it's not the best village. I'd be, I'd rather be close to a quality village. All right. Uh, hello, iron knife. Nice bronze car, a bolt. Great. Wool fabric, terrific. No steak. Uh, we'll take the cudgel. We can sell it. Not that we need money, because we don't. Okay, check around the other area. Look in there. Keep your head up. Shouldn't be any bad guy camps here. I've never found any. Uh, if you go out the right path there, we came in on the left side path. 
There may be another um, uh, uh, yeah, that, what I'm saying. Shoot, it's like 9 p.m. now, isn't it? Damn it, that means we're probably not going to be able to sell anything. Roslawa, Dobra, Dobrawa, eh, substandard. Ro oh, dang, ooh, no, he's got a freaking quest. We don't want to take that. Um, I mean, it'd be great if we could bust in and... Yarmir, nope, that's not who we're looking for. Nope, we're not looking for them. You? Oh, Norbert. How do you do? Hey, he's awake. He's talking to us. That's all that matters. Sell our crap. Buy this. Buy this. Uh, we'll hold that. Hold the knife. Hold the logs. Keep the pair of wine. Uh, keep the nose. Buy that. And I think we're good. Cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Norbert, Norbert, Norbert. Ah, damn it. Oh, I blew it. <sighs> Shoot. What'd you blow there, A train? Well, I blew my chance to buy some extra potions. Since we're in the area, I told you, tell my wife I'm going to be late. Since we're in the area, we might as well go over here and check. If we see chicory too, that's the blue stuff. Let me know. We can grab that. Bad guy camps can be up on that ridge. Is there anybody over here? I don't see any pikes. Okay. Well, then you know what? Let's take advantage of the opportunity. Knock, knock, knock. Opportunity knocks, right? We ain't going to get a whole lot out of this, but let's grab. And let's equip it. Slot seven. is right here. Tin is over here. Drop your stones. We got clay on us too. That's going to weigh us down. That's okay. If we can get a little bit more tin for our collection, that's good. stand here. If we drop that, where are we at? 68. Okay, we can probably get three, four more deposits. Plus, the, um, there's something to keep in mind. The tool's five kilos. Okay? So we can actually go to 85. going because when we drop the um, pickaxe on the way out then that frees up five kilos right so we might as well max out the weight right and now we're slightly overweight 81.24 one more. Probably, if we get three, we're good. Just like that. 
will be just under 85 kilos for the run back home. We're going to go over to, Bro to Baranica and check the uh, campfire. See if there's uh, somebody we can hook up with Sobibor. I'm sure he's appreciating that. All right, so now we need to first drop this. We have three logs on us, too. We're still heavy. So then we'll dance over to this side. Beep, 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 beep. Grab that. Move over here. XEF. Boom. And we are underweight by three quarters of a kilo. That's how you max your stuff out, gang. That's how you do that. All right, let's get hot. Now, mind you, we are a little bit stinky, which sucks. But because if you get too stinky, people won't talk to you. So hopefully we can get over there and may no, I know that there's all the St. John's word. Chick chicory comes out in the spring. Chicory blooms from spring until autumn, or through autumn. It's like St. John's wort. Nope, she ain't worth it. Okay. While we're here, nope, keep it. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, what time is it? Twenty-three forty-eight. So almost midnight. How can I help you? Oh, you know, that'll be in a minute. Take me to Denica. We'll fight our way back home if we have to. First. Let's see if we get lucky and get a pickaxe. Let's run up here. I know I don't have a bolt loaded. There's no threat in this area. I see a stone, but I don't see other stones. So no, there's no, nothing spawned. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm so, well, I'm not so bummed, but I'm kind of bummed that the rangers blew it. Again today. Now you lose two out of three at home to the stupid A's. Lorelei. Oh, we sorry talked to Lorelei. Lorelei is a strong extraction I'm an type. Traveler, but a shy one. I so, I mean, she's a 212-223. Sobibor is a 132-333. Three, three, three. I had a dream in which we all had green diamonds above our heads and we were talking gibberish. That's funny. I like Lorelei because that's a cool song by Styx. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, we're going to eat something and then we got to make our way home here. Let me go there. Uh, where are we? 39.5%. If you're much dirtier than I am now, you'll... Now, see, we did pick up a little poisoning. I mean, it's not going to matter. It'll be off in a second. Okay. Here we go. This could either go really well or it could go really sideways. We're going to find out here real quick. I do not want, damn it, Lynx, get, uh, now I don't trust the stupid Lynx. Okay, y'all stay away from me, please. I, you know, I put a moratorium on hunting you, and then y'all decide to be little buttheads, because I got too close to you. I don't want salted meat. Take the leather. Oh, that's fur. Take that. Take that. All right, no bad guy camp. So let's just stick to the trail. Pigs on the left. Yep, they saw us. We're just going to just keep moving. Keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. All right, there. this is here, and then it looks like the camp is up on the hill, and that's fine. It's an unmanned camp. Unless they change something, then we could be in for a real surprise. This is not going to have anything we really want. There's just stone. 
And what else? Was this her last season? Maybe it was. All right, and this now now this kind of sucks. We may, may may come back to the camp tomorrow, or you know what? We're close enough to home. We can just haul it out. All right, so this is this camp is Camp Four. We mean Camp Four, a train, Camp Four. Okay, pay attention on the looting path. It's located right here. This is identical to that camp. So I'm gonna tell you what's in the camp. There's gonna be a bow. Three iron arrows, two bronze arrows, a bronze knife, I think a little bit of coins and some firewood. Um, in fact, you know what I can do? Lee likes this. Pull out my handy dandy notebook and let's refer back to my notes of all the times I ran the looting path. Tips and tricks. Let's see. Do 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 Tips and tricks. Uh, Deer Creek. Yeah, those are. That's. Nope. Hmm. Well, where the hell is the. Ah, wait. Nope. That's tips and tricks. This is base builders. There's Sengoku. Ah, here we are. The looting path run. Uh, the camp. Ah, yes. Here it is. Camp. Bow is 78%. Iron axe. Stone knife. Fur. Three iron arrows, two bronze arrows. Okay. So let's see what we got here. And let's walk into the camp. Let's look down on the ground. What is this? Oh, look, there's an iron axe. I think that was on the list. We look over here. Oh, look, there's a bronze arrow <gasps> and another bronze arrow. Who knew? And there's a bow. Oh, <gasps> it's even better. Look. Oh, and there's a copper knife. Wow, and some leather and fur. Now, I bet if I look over this way, I'm going to find somewhere three iron arrows. There's some firewood. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Nice. <gasps> look there, gang. Iron arrow one, iron arrow two, and iron arrow three. The handy dandy notebook comes through again. Like apples? How about them apples? Lee, did you look at my um community page? I'm trying to I'm trying to eat healthier. You know, I got I, well, I don't got to go. I got to talk to my doctor on Monday. Of course, I do have you know excuse as to why my health has, hasn't done anything to get any better. I mean, because I've kind of been dealing with, you know, my mom passing and everything. But, um, what? Gwen the Shield Maiden! Dum -da -da -dum. It's a raid! From Gwen the Shield Painter, Captain Chicken Dance, and friends. Hooray! Welcome aboard, gang. Hope you all have a great evening. So, yeah, I posted a picture of my dinner. Sorry, Gwen, you couldn't make it. The uh, salmon turned out pretty good. There's a picture in the community tab just for you. But hey, Sleepless Raid. Yeah, you guys. Gwendolorians, huh? <laughs> the Gwendolorians. It's Gwen and the Geese Heads. It's like a bass. It sounds like a, a music group. Gwen and the Geese Heads. <laughs> All right, let's clean out the crapper real quick here. Hello. Hey, pigs. Listen. Hey, could y'all figure this out? All right, Kevin Bacon, you're in the way. Here's Natalie Porkman, and that's Piggy Smalls. Out of the way, damn it. We're going to pick up the poo here while we're at it because we're already dirty. Hey, hey qu quit pushing me around. Then there's Hamela Anderson and Piggy Azalea. We have fun names for our pigs. All right, we got the Doo Doo Brown. Doo Doo Brown. Hey, 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 move, Kevin Bacon. Move. 
fat boy. Damn it. Move. Oh, my God. Don't make me smack you in the head with my axe because that's going to drive them nuts. But it's a small pin, so they can't go far. Oh, look, a commercial just bothered to pop up. That sucks. All right, so here's my knucklehead walking around and whistling and stuff. This is this night watchman is the reason I believe that they should have bandits and people roaming into your camp. That's why he's here. Okay, how much weight do? Oh, we did free up some weight here. So let's put the doo doo brown in there. And that maxes it back out, so we just got poo sitting there. All right, we got lots of shizzle to dump off from our fun little trip around the valley here. And you guys are on the oxbow, so welcome to the valley. We just picked up some bronze arrows. We got some clay from Knucklehead. That, uh, we'll plant those later. Iron arrows, yep, 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 yep. Oh, an extra iron axe, pick that up. Iron kniffle, that's good for now. Do that, yep, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's that. Pair of wine, because I don't drink. Roasted fish meat. Steak. And lots of strange deer figurines we picked up up by Knucklehead's place. And then tin ore. So now we can get our guy back busy again, making tin bars. So I can make bronze. Combat revamp. Okay. So, yeah, there's going to be... Uh, oh, let me, go, let me go jump in a lake. Do, 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 Jump! Ploosh! Cannonball! All right, that guy's clean. So welcome to the valley. You guys are used to the Oxbow map. This is the original map. I'll give you an overview here momentarily. I know Q gets mad at me when I don't drink first, but I jumped in way over there, so the dirt should be way over there. So this is my village. Hooray and huzzah. This is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Now, I can, let's take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of the town called Bel Air. Lee says it looks good. Yeah, I made, I made uh, pan-seared salmon and asparagus and sautéed mushrooms for dinner. Yeah. So this is the valley map. Okay, this is the original map. It is bigger than the Oxbow map. Um, it's not as pretty. It's, you like that? <laughs> you should watch my videos. <laughs> go go look go look at my uh, go look at my videos. Scroll down, and you'll see there's two karaoke videos of me. <clears throat> Trust me, <clears throat> I know what I'm doing. That said, remember what I mentioned earlier on your steam on your stream. Nani kala tuta eleba inoka wakare nae mama toki kawa naete ukande wa kiete uku ani fureta to kotoba dake kimina anamare suteke da kara tabasunao isuki kui naide tabun mo sugu anemo yande futari tasogare Ano hi ano toki ano basho de kimi ni ae nakatara boku ra wa itsuma demo misila nu futari no mama. That's the first verse from Tokyo Love Story, or well, Love Story wa totozuni by Kazumasa Oda. The theme to Tokyo Love Story, which was the number one show in Japan circa 1991 or 92, I forget. They do their shows right over there, though. They did the whole thing. I don't have a stage on this. I have a stage in the Oxbow. I haven't built a stage here as yet. So let me tell you a little bit about the, the map set up here. Whereas in Oxbow, you have Piastovia, right? And you can get anything and everything in Piastovia. Now, you can get it in larger quantities at other places. Like if you need something from, is it Imislawa? Is the, the um, Smith? The weapons and tools lady. She's the arms dealer, as it were. If we were, if we lived in that time, that would be Gwen's job, I think. I think she would be the arms dealer. Anyway, if you go see the smithing and 
Skalky and Skunky, he has higher quantities. So Imislawa typically, whichever it is, it's either Imislawa or Unislawa. It's one of the Slawa sisters. Um, she'll have like a dozen to 16 iron bolts for crossbow. But you go see the smith over in Skunky, and he'll have like 50. So that's the smart place to go. So here, everything's spread out. Gustovia is the primary city. So you start the game right here at this intersection. And you have options. And the whole impetus of the story is you, Rasimir, that's your name. Let me show you. This is what Rasimir looks like. You can't customize his appearance on this game like you can on Oxbow. Um, well, there you go. So, uh, I, I know karate and a bunch of other Japanese words. Jeez, <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. So anyway, uh, so Rasimir, you come into the valley and you're 18 years old. You are a refugee um, from a war that has just, you know, devastated your homeland. It killed your parents. So you've come to the valley seeking your uncle Eorden. And to start the story, you have to check into Gustovia because that's where the Castellan lives. And his name is Unigost. So you check in with him and he tells you a little bit that Uncle Jordan's dead. Um, but you can, you know, go build you a village, whatever, take a hike, get out of my face, whatever. And that's where you start your story. Now, you can ignore him for the rest of the way, essentially. Um, you do speak to his wife and that puts you on a little bit of a wild goose chase where you come over to Rolnica then you come back and then you're back and a bit, 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 bit. And then she sets you up with a couple of beers to get the whole story going from Unigost. But we dinked around with that and said, screw you guys. I'm going to build a home. So we're building right here between Gustovia, which has um, Dobie in the uh, in the uh, tavern here. And then there's Edwin in the barn. And then there's um, Adelina in the kitchen and then there's Sobibor, I think is his name or something like that. Schmucky Boar or whatever. Uh here in the cow pen. So those are the four um people you can buy from in Gustovia. So that stuff gets spread out here. So if you need like woodworking stuff and chick so you can get cows and geese. You can't get any geese heads, I looked, but you can get cows and geese in Gustovia. You can get chickens in Borowo and then there's the chicken dealer lady and then there's a woodworking dude. In Baranica, because they ran out of original names. So they did Baranica and Branica. I know. We need another town name. Huh, let's just take an A out or put an A in, whichever one they started with. Uh, over here, you can get herb, herbless stuff and sheep. In Branica, uh, there's one of the seamstresses right here and then a woodworker. And our north cave is here. Then in Tutki, which I guess is like a medieval age fart it goes doot key uh you get donkey and then there's a basic hunter dude and that's about the sum of it a talent really is kind of goofy uh rolnica has pigs and a barn and a herbalist hut so that's all cool and neat and neat and cool sort of way denica is one of my favorite towns it has a seamstress, and then there's a barn, and then there's a, um, there's, um, what's the lady's name? Damn it, she's a pool player in Britain. Ah, she's hanging out with Darren Appleton. Ah, crap, what's her name? I don't know, whatever her name is. It's, it doesn't matter what her name is. Um, but she, uh, Kinga, Kinga Rauk, she's the pool player that lives in Britain that hangs out with Darren Appleton. She's in the kitchen. Uh, you can get goats in Denica. Lesnica, you can go see Teobald, and he's a smithy, and so you can get weapons. Um, there's also a woodworker. There's an excavator hut there, too. So you get a few things, but Lesnica is one of your two key stops for tools and weapons. Jezerica is a fishing village. It has a tavern and a doo-doo fishes. That's all you can get there. And then uh, this is hazardous ground here on the south side. It's pretty hilly. Uh, there's bears here by Jezerica Cave. There's bears here by Central Cave. Um, there's bears over here. 
And then there's uh, Hornica Cave right there. And in Hornica, you have all your vendors. You get your horses here. Um, there's Jan Hammer, the smith. There's a cook. There's a tavern. There's a uh, seamstress and a excavation hut. So this is where you got to do a lot of your shopping. But you can find everything you need up in these upper towns. And I kind of, kind of prefer that. So for FNGs to the game, I have come up with this thing called the looting path. So if you start here at the start point, and you'll hear me refer to this, so I just soon show you so you know what the hell I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff I do for people. I made this map. And as I was just using my hand, ooh, let me move my thing of chocolate, dark chocolate covered almonds. <laughs> Don't want to dump those. Don't want to eat them all in one day either, blockhead. My handy dandy notebook, where I have notes from like 15 times I've run this path. And if you go back and look on my videos on season two, and it says, uh, start smart. I take you through this entire looting path and with screenshots of every single one of the spawn points. Now the spawn points don't all spawn at once. It's not like uh, the Oxbow, this, where all these spots, now the camps don't all spawn at the same time and the green dots don't spawn at the same time. But when you start in Piastovia, these four abandoned buildings, you'll find the same thing every time when you start out from those sites, right? But the looting map here in the valley, these are random sites. So you can run into bandits at a couple, three places, and you can pick up lots of cool stuff. And hopefully you run this path and get into Gustovia at the end of day one with two to 4,000 worth of coins, uh, stuff you can sell. And then maybe something cool like noble boots or a if you get so lucky you can get an iron crossbow and three bolts up here at camp 13 maybe an iron axe from camp four stuff like that so that's the kind of stuff i enjoy that's why i've got 950 hours in the game and my i've just gotten to where my son's two years old on this playthrough because <laughs> i just ran the stuff over and over again to try to learn it and figure out the game mechanics so anyway that's a little introduction to the valley uh, geography wise, this is a big flat area. A lot of people like to build over here. A lot of people like to build over here. Uh, some people build right over here, west of Gustovia. It's kind of rough terrain. Some will even build up here on the north side of the lake and stuff like that. Yeah, it's cool. It's casual. Let me see what time it is. Oh God, it's over 400. What's the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. Let's see if I can jump in bed and get some sleep. Yes. Hooray. If you go try to go to bed after 4 a.m., I don't think it'll let you. I think you're screwed. I didn't want to be in the doghouse with my wife. Let the kids sleep, though. All right. So we're playing with three-day seasons. Let me give you a quick tour of the village. This is my house. I'm limiting us to log houses, and um, I have not upgraded my roof. What in the ass? Everyone's got nicer stuff than me, but that's because I'm a nice guy. Um, we have a couple of farm sheds. This is the primary. The secondary is over there. It's actually more centrally located. If you look at the layout here. And so I was telling you the story of Rasimir, of how he came to be in the valley, uh, look, looking for Uncle Jordan, whatever. So what I've done is I've taken the, this, that story and expanded upon it. That my family members, we knew in case war came, we were going to rally to the valley. That made a rhyme. So this was our rally point. So if the stuff hit the fan, this was our bug out spot. And you were supposed to come here and kind of meet up in Gustovia or something like that. So what I've done is gone around the valley to the various towns and I found air quotes family members. So first I met my wife, Agnes. And then I found Neslawa. She's my cousin. And then found her older brother, Swibor. Um, and then we hooked him up with Radamilla. Neslawa. Uh, Radamilla, and she just had her baby. It's Grimilda. She, yeah, she's with Swibor. And Neslawa, we hooked her up with a gentleman named Tomil. So we, we've taken some people from the home front. Uh, we found Sulagost was a cousin of mine. Uh, we found family friends Miroslaw and Frida. They were family friends who found their way up here. And then we found uh, Ostrobod, who is like a distant cousin. 
And then we just recently found Sobibor. And he's uh, he's my older brother. So that's this guy here. He's borderline um, he's borderline unicorn because he's got 15 skill points from the drop. So now, uh, three-day seasons. I am limited to hunting and farming, and I can make things like pottage and soup. Simple dishes I can cook because I can cook those in my house. Uh, Agnes, my wife, is a woodworker or can work can cut down trees and eat her lunch just like her old papa. Nayslawa, my cousin, is a seamstress. So if anybody's a three in production, right, they can do four things. And so what I've done with the story is limited what of those four things they can do. Like Nayslawa is a seamstress. She's a seven now. Okay. That's, that's her specialty. She can fish and forage as well. So I may switch her into that position. But right now, she's kicking ass in, in making stuff in the seamstress hut. Otherwise, you could move someone from the seamstress hut to the smithy, to the woodshed, to the kitchen, right? Because that's in this production skill set. I'm taking that out of play because ain't nobody going to be an expert at those four things. Pick one, right? So I'm artificially handicapping what we can do. We rely on each other. We balance each other out. And whereas I might have previously rotated people around from position to position to position, like Miris Law, I might put him, you know, into extraction to get this one up so the kid is, has a higher score. I'm not doing that this time. We're keeping it simple. This is as big as the village is going to get, except Sobibor uh, does not have a wife. So we can find him a wife, and that's it. That's as big as the village gets. So we're capping out. Thank you. I'm glad you like that, that, that we're capping out the, the link now. And it wasn't until Sobibor got here, which was just last year. This is year five that he gave me a little more information about Uncle Jordan and to go ask Unigost. So now I've triggered the Unigost quest line and now we're pursuing it after four years. You've got 20 years to do it. So you've got all the time in the world, but um, we're, we're working this at, at kind of a slow pace. So let me just check my field here real quick. Uh, whoop, nope, that, bep, bep, bep. All right, field one's done, that's flax, that's planted, good to go. She's working on field two, that's an oat field, that's fertilized and she's planting. Then she'll probably move to field three, that's fertilized, it just needs planting. Field four is transitioning, that needs fertilizing, hoeing, and planting. So, fertilizing, hoeing, and planting. I can at least fertilize it for her, because I'm nice like that. Give me this, and let me see, I need 30 tile, is it? No, 24. And then we've got uh, our pigs, which sleep with their heads stuck through the wall somehow. Hey, doofus. Hello, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, <laughs> get your head back inside. <laughs> Dumbass pigs. Um, all right, let's sling this out here. Now, smart way, to, smart way to do this efficient way is if you position between two tiles we're saying you hit the whoop, you gotta whip this out and then you throw down the fertilizer and you just go here then go here and you shuffle forward and go here and go here and I advocate for all my viewers you are the most efficient villager you have so if you want to get something done do it yourself you want your people's you know skill levels to go up but early game especially you want your skill levels to go up. I mean, even if you play the regular game where you're just, you know, kicking ass and taking names and you're, you're a master of, you know, the obvious and everything else in the world. That's great. So you want to do stuff. You don't want to turn everything over to villagers and grow your village like huge from day two. Now, it helps if you can get someone in to cut down trees and eat their lunch just like their old papa to lumberjack for you. Because logging is a pain in the ass, plus then they don't deforest half the map. All right, there's that. I didn't grab a hoe. No, I, I wasn't talking about your mom again. God, leave your mom out of this. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Let's chuck that back. Let's throw. I can't throw that in there. So we'll throw fertilizer right down here. X E F. Boom. Grab a hoe. And we'll go hoe that field. And then she just has to plant. Like Robert plant. Let's grab this because this will take like two seconds. Plus this helps. I mean, this is going to help me max out my farming skill. But we're taking our time. I In my oxbow build, I mean, by year two, I had like an entire village worth. I had every one of the buildings built effectively and was able to make just so much stuff. Playing with seven-day seasons. This is, dra this is slowing the game down, but speeding up the progression in the actual purpose of the game, which is to build a dynasty. So... You know, you want, your, you want to take over for your kid at some point. I've just, because I've focused so much on the early game, I've never gotten to this point. I've had my kid twice, including on my Oxbow playthrough. But he never walked. I just, I never got to that point because I, it's like, oh, let me start over. I, I want to do this different. I, you know, I know a better way to do this and whatever. Uh, okay, let's check our, where it's springtime, right? Yeah. Firewood production. All right. We're burning 264 BTU per day. So 264 divided by five is going to be uh, 50. Yes. 50 plus 15. So 53. So we need to produce 53 firewood per day to keep up. Let's see what. No, we don't need to produce 53. We need to produce 53 divided by 4. Well, yeah, 53 firewood still, doofus. I know what I'm talking about. Woodshed, boink. So we're doing 16 times 4, and that's 64. So we're producing more than we need. So that will put us on a positive curve as we go to summer. I'm actually going to take planks out of play here and go ahead and keep, because we, we did drain down our our stock of firewood pretty good over the winter. So we had 335 in storage. That's what, 63? Nah, it's more than 63. 67? Do we have 67 firewood in storage? Do we have 67 firewood in storage? Did my 1980s era high, high school math just pay off? Firewood, 67. What? Who knew? Ha! It's amazing. Jeez, I cracked myself up. All right, so Chicky Poo's taking care of herself. Oh, let's see how many chickens we got. We got chicks to name. Oh my God! Where is Autumn? We need Autumn. <laughs> all right, so we've got our chickens. We got Getty Lee. He's our one of our roosters. We're, they're all rock stars or singers. Pat Hanatar, Stevie Chicks, Gloria Eggstefan, Chester Hennington. I guess was the lead singer of. Uh, Lincoln Park, uh, Behenda Hart, Clara Lyle, Hen Stefani, Reba Cluckentire, Aga Fitzgerald, Amy Lay, Simon LeBach, and Shakira. So that means we got two male chicks and two female chicks to name. So anybody wants to throw some names out there for consideration and vote amongst the group, feel free to put those in the chat. And we will discuss it. So, um, oh, Damn, I threw the piece of paper away. Damn it. What the mm. Oh, wait, here's... Wait. Gregory Peck is an actor. He's not a singer. Stephen Squawking. Nope. Ed Sheepin, that would be for a sheep. Bart Simpson. Nope, that's for a sheep. Freddie Mercury, that's a cow. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, that's a cow. Nicole Kidman, actress. Russell Crowe's actor. All right, so we can't use any of those names. We need singers, preferably like rock singers. Dennis D. Young, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis D. Hmm. Shakira, not great. Well, that's okay. She ain't got to be great. She's got she's got to lay stuff. All right. Um, what else do I need to do at the moment? 
we gotta go back and see um unigost for the next part of our story that is just a pain in the ass let me see what we got over here bag wise we got plenty of bags okay cool oh let me how rude of me all right so let me give you the quick the quick tour all right so gustovia is that way to the east Denica is that way to the southwest because there's a fork in the road right over there. And then Rolnica is that way. And then you got Tutki, Baranica, Bra Branica, Baranica, Borowo is over there. That's the and then Lesnica is way over there past um, uh, Denica. So here's my brother's house. Here's our lumberjack, and uh, he doesn't care. He's, you know, sleeps all night and wears women's underwear. We've got someone's house here. Cheftel is here. Food storage is here. It's always good to put food storage next to the kitchen. Although I actually prefer prefer to put the kitchen on the right because the door is on the right. So then the, it's a shorter distance, just a couple less steps, more efficient. Uh, resource storage, level two. One, I, this is, um, what's her name's house? Neslawa. Got a well up here, and then we got a hunter's lodge. And then over here down this street, we got the sewing hut. It's not a pizza hut. It's a sewing hut. Woodshed, or sorry, wor workshop, herbalist hut, and then somebody else's house here. Big ass um, orchard here. And we got somebody's house here. Wait, did I? I haven't upgraded that door, have I? What? Oh, I haven't put shutters on there either. Dork. Man. Dorcas Bajorcas. I think that's the only house that doesn't have shutters, except I think my brother's house needs one. Let me knock that out real quick. All right, one, two, three, four. That means we need eight logs and 32, no, 24. Eight logs, 24 planks. Damn, that's most of them. That'll do. Shutters are a plus three add to the occupant's happiness. If you do shutters and insulation, which I think is a logical step, then that'll add about plus 10 to your people. And you can open them up. It's really cool. I actually prefer the braced wooden shutters. Those have, you have to have iron bars and a lot of technology. All right, that'll do. And my brother south is down here. So we got... Um, our excavator's shed. Then this is um, Miroslaw and Frida's house, I believe. Yes, Miroslaw and Frida. And they're now married. Let's see who's married not. Chiwali Slawa. Could she have a bigger name? Osterbod. She and Osterbod are hitched up. Iwalda and Suligost are married. Frida is married to Miroslaw. Neslawa is married to Tomil. Ostrobod is with Chiuslawa. Radamilla is with is with um, Swibor. My son is her son. Her daughter is Grimilda. My son is Robert, and his skills actually went up over this past year. He started as a two 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 three three. His skills have gone up a point each. So that's a good thing. Move fighters. Motley Chick. Oh, here we go. Chick Jagger. Eggie Van Halen. I like it. All right. So let's see here. Hen Henny Hendrix. Nice. Fleecewood Mac. That's a sheep. Yeah, we don't have sheep. All right. So let's focus here. All right. So let's do a poll here. We need two male singers. So we're going to go. First run is going to be Henny Hendrix, Eggie Van Halen, Chick Jagger, and Motley Chick. Okay. So let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, what should we name a male chick? All right, Eggie Van Halen. You guys have to remind me what they are. Chick Jagger. Um, Motley Chick. Wait, what's 
That's the name of the band, though. I think we're a pass on Motley Chick. What's uh? Oh, here we go. Motley Chick, uh, Move Fighters, Henny Hendrix, which seems a little odd. Okay, so we'll we'll do that. All right, let's vote now. Vote early, vote often. Radio Hen, that's a good one. See, so Motley Chick, what would that be? Vince Neil? I mean, I don't know how you would twist his name up. Anyway, and if you're just uh, lurking, this is a, it's totally anonymous. We will not be sending people to your house to kick your ass or anything because you didn't vote the way we wanted to vote. Vote for whatever you want. We'll make it. Whatever, uh, we'll, we'll take one of these and then we'll, re, we'll redraw. Um, so if we come up with something new, um, oh, Alex Lifeson. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Alex Lifeson. Then I get a second member of Russia in the, in the, into the fray. I don't really necessarily want to do hen names for the male chicks. Um, hmm. So let's uh, let's keep working here. Let's try Fleecewood Mac. I like that. That's a good one though. Now Mac is typically one of my chickens because I'll name a group of the chickens after the chicken run chickens. So we have Rocky and Mac and Bunty and Babs and there's one other. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. All right, we have three votes in gang. Come on, there's like 70 all watching. It's not difficult. It won't hurt to just click something. It's real easy to do. It's like the, it's like the Humpty Dance. It's really easy to do. Check me out. First, I limped to the side. My look like my legs was broken, cray twitching and shaking, kind of like it was smoking. Crazy whack funky. People say you look like MC Hammer on crack, eh, train? That's all right, cause my body's in motion. It kind of looks like a fitter of convulsion. Anyone can do this dance. This is my dance, y'all. A hey, train's my name. No two people will do it the same. You got it down when you appear to be in pain, humping, funking, jumping. Kick around, shaking your rump. I'm going to do a plump chump, take, shake his finger like a stump, tell him, step off. I'm doing the hump. Uh, if you guys don't know, pro tip, fire pit next to your farm shed. What's the big thing about farm sheds? Of course, it's good to be, have them in the middle of the fields. And you want your farmer's houses to be relatively close to the farm shed. But if you build a fire pit next to the farm shed, they'll gather at it. And then when 8 o'clock hits, boom, they're at work. Boom, they're in the fields. Okay. Pro tip, just saying. Uh, we can, we got a tie here, gang. Someone go break the tie. It's not rock, rocket science. It would not let me, not let you vote. Why not? Lee, are you registered to vote in this country? Did you show a photo ID? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Have you been co-opted? Have you given someone your, like, your vote to do it for you? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm friends with Leah in real life, so you have to understand she's she's she lives here in the area. All right, let's get 40 bowls and let's make some soup. No soup for you. So 40 bowls means we need six. Nope, we need 120. 120. So we need 117. There's 99 lift balloons. 117, okay, because you need three, two, one. Three meat, two cabbage, one bowl. Um, so now we need 80 cabbage. 80 is going to be about here. Nope, maybe there. Close enough. Cool. All right. My limited amount of production I can do. Now, if you didn't know this, you can cook over anybody's fire. I mean, you basically own the village anyway. Vote could not go through. All right. Anybody else want to vote? We name our first male chick. Anyone? Class? Bueller? All right. So here's the deal. We started off friends. It was cool. It was all pretend. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone. Chick number one is going to be Eggie Van Halen. All right. That's too bad that... Uh, Autumn is our 
uh, resident uh, person in charge of naming um, animals. All right, so let me see here. So we got uh, male chick number two thing. Eggy pop. We do not have an eggy pop. We got Ega Fitzgerald. Ega. Life Sin. Alex Life Sin. <laughs> uh, and then who else did we have here? We have Leftovers, Chick Jagger, and Henny Hendrix. Am I spelling that right? J A G E R. Oh, it's G A G G E R. Oops. All right. Chick Jagger and uh, then uh, we could do Chick Berry. Chick Berry. Yep. Okay. And we have anybody else? Henny Hendrix. Let's put him. Put Henny Hendrix in the mix. Okay, there we go. Um, we got Ega Fitzgerald. Oh, you know what? I don't think I... Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. And if we do Chick Jagger or Chick Berry. Ah, let's stick with this. This gives a little variety. All right. Start the poll. All right. So vote early, vote often, folks. This is the name for chicken number two. And then we'll roll tide roll from there. Um, okay. What the hell? Gwen the Shield Painter thanks us for the link. Ray. Oh, thanks us for the shout out. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for the raid. That in there. Da -da 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 All right, how are we doing on the poll here? Egg and M. All right, now we're coming up with females. So now you gotta come up with female names. I'm voting for Alex Life Life Sam, but we'll go with whatever y'all do. Metal hit that's the group name. We're going for people names. Some other time I may do um, group names. All right, uh, what do I need here? I need to Oh, wait, we just made the soup, right? Did we make the soup? Did we make the soup? Oh, good God, I made pottage. What a blockhead. Ugh. Hi, son. Let's see where you're at. What's up, bud? It's for you. Oh, he gave me a clay. Uh, Oh, I got you. Wait, what happened? Exit. Hang on. Nothing, Dad, that's a cruel joke. Hold on. No, hang on. I got you something there, kid. Hang on. I got something to go with your bear. It's a bear necessity. Where's the stupid wood carved? Wait a minute. Where's all the wood? I, how come I can't give him the strange deer figurines? Oh, that sucks. Damn it, Beavis. I'm supposed to be able to give it to him. All right. Hang on, kid. I got something for you. I don't want to... I don't want you pissed off at me. Uh, gifts for the wife. Gifts for the wife. Uh, here. Ah, here. Let's give him this wooden deer figurine that I bought. Here, kid. I got you something. There you go. All right. It's affection change plus one. Affection's at 2%. Hooray. Good God. That's going to take for freaking... Thanks, kid. All right. Let's... Um, Kick it in the ass for Coda. Alice, Alice Cooper. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Alice Cooper. All right. Chick Jagger looks like it's going to be the winner. And then we'll move on to the ladies, the females. 
Chick Jagger because he can't get no satisfaction with big ass lips. All right, that poll is done. And now we need to name. Uh, all right, so we need female chicken names now. Female chicken names based on singers, rock stars, preferably. Uh, the kid affection go at 100%. I, I think so. Yeah. Well, all right. So let's math this out. No, because it would take 25 years. And in theory, you would have to, you know, <laughs> you know, you'd get there at some point. All right, last, I already checked over there for the um, fishing spear and stuffs. Crash cart's not here. I want carts in the game. Actually, with it being rainy, I want this path to be sloppy and my movement to be slowed about 20%. And after the winter thaw, especially. I think that'd be a great aspect of the game if it slowed you down. I mean, in theory, then, you could move faster running off off the path than on, which would be cool. Oh, let's check the clay pits and see if we get a free shovel. That's like there being a toy in the bottom of the cookie or, or box of cereal. No, 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 and no. Well, screw you guys. I'm going home. All right, crash cart. See, here's my other point. I want to cannibalize that wheel. That wheel's vsf but that wheel give me another good wheel and then i want these linkages those should be like tier three in the smithy where you could buy them and you have to build a uh, cart shop so you need four of those four logs rear support axle left arm right arm am i tracking so the four logs they need to be able to make the wheels, which if you ban them, their durability would be higher. So just plain wooden wheels probably wouldn't hold together. So you'd have to have copper banding, then bronze banding, then iron banding. Iron banding is going to have the highest level of durability. Then you need one, two, uh, one, two, three, maybe four planks for the base. And then five, six, seven to make the sides. Maybe some steak. Here's another thing they should make, they should build into the game. Rope. We should be able to make rope. Is why using inspection mode you can't see the loot items? Yeah, you can't see anything you haven't uh, touched, right? So, I don't know. I didn't make it up. I just deal with it. All right. Is there, oh, there's a chicky poo here. Hello, Dobby Slawa. Oh, you suck. Never mind. I think we're going to have to... Oh, where, where's our girl? Oh, they're just getting up and getting going. What time is it? Jesus, people. It's freaking afternoon. What, did you take a siesta? Edwin's not even in the barn. Edwin, hello? Hello? Is that Edwin right there? No, that's Doby Slaw of the Slaw family. His brother's Cole. Huh? They train you so funny. <laughs> where the hell are all your people unigost oh there's your wife hey come here How are you? you got any money left you do not <laughs> dismissed hogan oh, yep that's me lisa Law. Ooh, don't talk to her she's got a mission we don't want that you gotta be real careful with these three day seasons here we go Boink. okay let me try it moo cows How do you do? so bemir uh here take this clay don't tell my kid i sold it to you Law shoot what the hell oh i forgot to do the windows at my brother damn it blockhead all right that's okay we sold what we needed we got twenty eight thousand coins smell you later here look it's you guys it's gwen and the goose heads <laughs> all right come here blockhead talk to me i talked to sambor uh sweetest are you kidding no nope. Yeah, I like a jar of honey. It's Sambor for good. Tell him, Uncle, Lord of the Orchards. I expect a good storytelling skills. Blah, blah, blah. I know I'm blowing through this and you guys haven't seen it. 
But blah, 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 blah. You can go back and watch um, previous videos. Really, realize that a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, it sounds right. You want me to? Sure, I love punching people in the face. Around the valley, I'm known for it. Be so kind to do it for free, though. I'm all out of being punched in the face budget. Starting to worry you. Sambor says, but if he asks, I'll say you knock me out cold. Out of curiosity, what did he tell you about coming a part of the pack? Say you were looking at the best recruits, blah, blah, blah. Who just bumped me? That was rude. Seems like something he would say. Is that the truth? Not a pleasant memory. Okay, so what's going to happen here is slavery was forbidden, blah, 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 blah. I'm Alex Lifeson doing his Hall of Fame speech again. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't believe me, look it up. I'm just saying. Greatest acceptance speech ever in the history of acceptance speeches. Alex Lifeson gave the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame the big middle finger because they deserved it. Path we walked was our choice. Cutthroat anywhere near me. Blah, 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 blah. Whole lot of money. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. It's always something to do. Um... All right, glad to hear my next request won't bore you at all. What do you need? Oh, this is when we got to go to find o uh, Ida the Ho. <sighs> yep. All right, here we go. Uh, so, we got to go find Ida. She's a Ho. So, let's jog, jog, jiggity jog over to Borowo. I don't remember if we checked the uh, hobo camp and figured out. It's not really a hobo camp in, these, in the towns here. What's up, Uber? Um, the people around the fire pit, they're within the village. It's not like it's an out-of-town deal like it is on um, Oxbow. All right, here. Let's jump. There we go. And we've already cleared out the sacks. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Name pending soon after the meaty geese. Let me see if there's anything down here at the river's edge. Not that we need anything. We got plenty of crap. We need to get this stupid quest done. This just drags out for frickin' ever. That's the issue. Oh, that's her. No, that's not her. Whoa. The chick we need to talk to is over here. I'm going to point this at her head. Here, I'm going to stand on where it's not wet. Yeah, that's good. Ida, looking for your next customer? Take a hike. I Kid, I want it fair and square. One, a little snake didn't even tell. Hey, hey, people, I'm talking to the woman here, all right? Quit running into me. Walk, go around. You know what you mean? He only wanted you to scythe back. It's my scythe now. Okay, relax. What can I do to get your scythe then? You can buy it from me, of course, or we could play for it. What's the game? Same for Unigos. Lost all his money in the scythe. Haha. -ha. Game of riddles. How's it played? Simple. I tell you three riddles. You must answer all of them correctly. One mistake and the game is over. You win. You get the scythe. Oh, uh, you win. You get the scythe. And if I lose, it'll go easy. You don't lose. You don't mean anything. You just forfeit the chance of getting the scythe for free. All right. Here we go. Hit me with the riddles. First one. What disappears the second you say its name? I'll give you all a second. What disappears the second you say its name? I think it's I think it's silence. The sound of silence. She blinded me with science. Oh, that's science, not silence. The goose honey gang. I, I just like Gwen and the geese heads. The goose. the Gwen and the honking goose. Geese. I like, there you go. Gwen and the ge geese. <laughs> Oops. Your new country band. <laughs> Twang. My goose died when my girlfriend ran him over with my pick em up truck. Now I'm crying in my beer. Uh, silence. Dynasty plus 
60. Yes. Correct. Ready for the next one? Here it is. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. What am I? Fire, I believe. Boom. You're good. Big Castellan. I'm better than Mr. Castellan already. I can fly but have no wings. I can cry but have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. What am I? I can fly but have no wings. I can cry but I have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. I believe that is a cloud. But it might be something. It might be. No, I think it's a cloud. It's not an onion. It's not a forest. Right? Imagination? Eh. It's cloud. Let's go with cloud. Boom. That's right. I'm sharp like this scythe, bitch. Ha! Smell you later. All right. Let's go check the uh, campfire. All right. What do we got up here? Who's the next contestant on? Want to lay my brother? Melania. Oop, nope. She's not. Herman. Well, what the hell? Oh, it's just a sausage fest here. You guys have fun. All right. Now we got to run back to freaking Knucklehead. Are we going to get there in time? Yeah, we can get there in time. We could Uber over there, but we'll get there. He'll be around. When you're on a quest, you can wake people up. You know, they may say they normally they would say they don't want to talk to you right now. But if you're on a quest for them, pff, just kick them in the head. Get up. Get your stuff. Packages, it's empty. It had seven coins in it. Do, 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 do. We need a banjo and a boom. Here comes the boom. Here comes the boom. What up, Uber? The nice thing about 2.0 is the price of using the Uber is like a third of what it was on the original. All right, where's D-Kid? Oh, my gosh. With a voice like that? I don't know if you're going to find a good man. All right. Unigost. Hey, Shathid, quit walking away from me. I ain't got time for this. Wait, come here. Got your scythe. Here you go. Not at all. Sambor's looking for you. Okay. All right. Yay. All right. We got a little bit of time here. This time won't give me time. Sambor is way the hell up here. All right, so what did we check? We checked up to this point. Let's run the path. I know it's kind of late in the day. Let's go. I need a po Oh, wait, I do have a potion of stamina. If only I had a potion of stamina. <laughs> Glug. Let's go. Road trip. All right, we'll run up here and check and see if the cart is here. El Crasho. Crasho Chinjo, Rocky. Nope, Crash Cart is not there. This would be where it would be good to have a mount, however, comma. You can only go so fast through the forest. I think the mistake people make is they like try to go top speed after the ice cream man and then oops hey look here's this is where you start the game right here there's that sign and here's spot number one on the looting path and there's gonna be some rye in here then there's a flat straw hat and there's a copper, copper sickle there's spot one then we turn and go southeast up onto the rise and then we find spot two right here with a bundle with coins and iron ore and a wood shovel which we're going to leave behind because we're not going to waste time on it now we're going to hit the road jack don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, keep in mind, the first time you do this, all right, I'm going to show you the tree. That's where you're going to get the indication of where the wizard are. All right, we got to slow down now because all of a sudden we're gassed. That's usually where you get gassed anyway. You got to walk at this point. This tree here on the left. Right now, you would get a moose indication. And you would get a wizard indication about here. 
Wizener on the right, Moose on the left. We're going to cut the corner to the left. So this is Bullwinkle and friends. The Wizener up there. So we're going to come down here through the deer and look for the crash cart in the creek. Crash cart's no here. Now, next thing we're going to do is backtrack and we're looking for a fire right there-ish. They put more bushes in to make it harder to see. No fire, no bad guys. Got That's spot seven. But you can see it from here. So this is spot three is the crash cart in the creek. Boing, bloop, bloop. Now we're going to go south. Don't go southwest. You'll wind up on Wolf Ridge and get your ass chomped on. Those wolves will take a bite out of crime. And now we're looking for the camp here at spot four. It is not here. That sucks. That's the same thing as the camp we found earlier over by Denica. Now, here's where it could get interesting. Nope. All right, they're not there. That's the big bandit camp right there where you'll find four knuckleheads waiting to get their faces blown off. So if you watch the shorts on my channel, you'll see them. That's uh, two of those guys getting their face blown off. All right, spot five right here will be the pile of rocks with the wood shovel. And you move the right top rock, and you'll find a coin pouch with 200 coins. Then you come up through the saddle. What is a saddle, A-Train? Goes up that way and that way. Goes down that way and that way. Looks like a saddle. Okay. Now, we could go to the right, but we're going to stay on the looting path camp because I want to get to the uh, camps, a lot of looting path. You could go up there to that spot and go up over the hill. No crash cart here. That's spot six. Now, if you're armed at this point or at least have a stone axe, you can come up here and fight these two guys because they ain't too tough. But if you're not prepared for them, they'll kick your ass. So <laughs> I'll kick your ass. Now we're going to hit the creek. And we're looking for a crash cart at spot eight. No crashy cart right here. Spot nine is in the cave here. That would be a bronze pickaxe right here with three iron ore. No gotti. So now we're going looking for camp 10. We have yet to see this on any visits. If you need broadleaf plantain, this is where you get it right here. There's a crap ton of it laying around. I say there's a there is a crap town that laying around. Ah, oh, the camp is here. Hooray. No bad guys, but there are wolves. So let's see where they're at. The big takeaway from here. I can't tell if I'm hearing a wolf growl at me or that's the rain. I hear the wolf. Big takeaway is right here. Coins, per pouch. Nope, don't transfer crap. Get that. Get the get out. Go. Iron iron shovel, bag of coins, coins and stuff, and get out. You gotta get about over here to be out of range of those little snapper heads. Okay. That was camp. That was spot 10 on the looting path. Now we're going to head back over here to the stream. And here's the sacks. Hooray and huzzah. These I didn't see for the longest time because they look like um, rocks. So you, that's your start of your beetroot crop and some oats and some cabbage. So it helps you start your farm there. All right. Back on the road. Now, at this point, if you have no weapons, make a... Um, Stone axe, chop down trees, and eat your lunch just like your old papa, and make some wooden spears because you're going to need them if you wind up seeing the two-tier camp. All right, so we come down here. Spot 12 is a crash cart right there with a copper shovel and four loose clay. Wolves to the left, piggies to the right. Here I are. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Shut up. Look, if I want any shit from you, I'll squeeze your head. Ah, oh, the camp is there. <gasps> awesome. Come here, fat boy. Come here. Are you ticklish? Yeah, I called you fat. Look at me. I'm skinny. It never stopped me from getting busy. I'm a freak. I like the girls with the boom. I once got busy in Unigos bathroom. Come on. Come on. I. That's right. I like food delivery. Look. I like. I prefer my bacon delivered. But that'll do. Noisy piggy falling down, falling down, falling down. Oh, good. I got my bolt back. Thank you. Please drive through. 
All right. It's cloudy. It's rainy. The weather sucks. And I can't see the wolves. This is the two-tiered camp. Spot 13 on the looting path. Upper part of the camp. Shit. Upper part of the camp has an iron axe and a basket if you want to grab it. Lower part of the camp by these by the tent and the lean to on this corner three iron arrows on the far side three bronze spears and then there's what's in the sacks tally ho target one six five 100 meters closing yep i hear you come on where are you he can see me but i can't see him and that's the problem come on i'm gonna back out I'm gonna let him come oh, shit no i'm not gonna do that move 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 come on where are you okay he stayed put but now i can see him that hi smile where's your buddy where's your buddy i hear him where's your buddy where's your buddy he's gonna come in and do a chompa chompa chewy chewy chomp on my leg i'm not gonna like that not one bit they can come over here tally ho target 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 down stand by target 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 got him toast i like that forward roll there you get a 9.7 from the check judge stand by are we clear crystal grayed out if it's grayed out there's no doubt they done son iron axe give me the bow did i tell you guys i might have done this once or twice I'm just saying. All right, busted up all this stuff over here. Yeah, there's a busted ass wolf right here. <laughs> Give me that fur. What are you inferring, A Train? <laughs> That's a good one. I, I'm inferring. I just came, I saw, and I kicked that ass. Uh, Iron Bolt. Hello? 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 Give me. If you get the opportunity, always pull weapons first. That way you're sure you get it back in your possession. Because sometimes the, the game will screw you at the drive-thru and they'll, they won't they will give it back to you. All right. So now, here's snapper head number three who did the forward flip. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go see what other fun stuff we get here. Starting at the lean-to. That's a tent. That's a lean-to. There's some leather. Yay. I have like 300 of that. Over here, we have three iron arrows, two leather piece, and three more bronze spears, which at this point would be your most effective hand-to-hand -hand, uh, or melee weapon. Any chance there's an iron crossbow? Damn. Sometimes... You feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get an iron crossbow. All right. We kicked that ass. Let's keep going. Otherwise, if that camp is not there, just stay down below that bridge. Because the, the wolves can get down to about here-ish. You can try crossing the bridge if you don't see or hear them. That's fine. Oh, chicory dickory duck. We need some chicory in stock. There's one potion right there. All right, sweet. Potion. What potion is that? What the hell did I just hear? Okay. I don't know if they've set up random wolf spawns on here. Because we found them, we found them a lot on Oxbow. And we found a random bear spawn once. That was a trip. He was in the swamp. Over there east of PSW. So here's... Here's the uh, clay pits, and right up here you'd find a bronze shovel and four loose clay. No shovel today. So now it gets interesting. Let's get hot and stand by for possible combat. Okay. So the path is right there. That's the path of the righteous man. But then there's the path of the wise man. The path of the wise man says, the devs put this tree here, this bush, that wasn't there before. It's there for a reason. It's there to hide if they have a crash cart in the path because they want you to stumble upon said crash cart and when you do 
There's a guy on the left, a guy on the right, and guess what's going to happen? <laughs> You're going to get dead. And that violates rule number one of the Dan Bongino show. Don't get dead. The crash cart will be right here. There'll be a guy with a wooden crossbow there, a guy there, and a dickhead standing by a tree ready to come punch you in the face. So withdraw, get cover, take out the guy who wants to play. Let's punch each other in the face. Oh, look, the trunk's here. Oh, it's empty. It's here previously. And there's a wooden shovel. And again, from a distance, the wooden shovel, you can tell it's a wooden shovel because the blade is offset to the handle. The metal shovels, the blade is centered on the handle. You need to head to bed now. Hey, you know what? I totally understand. It's late where you are, and I appreciate it. I'm dirty. I don't feel dirty. Gwen, it's been a pleasure. Enjoy hanging out with uh, you and the goose heads. Captain Chicken Dance. Let's see if this camp is here. This camp has not been here yet either. All right, we're going to get out of here because there's wolves and there's pigs there too. We've already played that game. So thank you much. Appreciate the raid. Glad you guys stopped by. Do appreciate it. And um, here's the triple waterfall. This is where you'll find the camp here. And then there'll be a crash cart here. If you find both, that's a bonus deal because you get a bow, arrows, uh, um, noble boots. So you get some nice kicks, some money. And then you come up over this rise. That's a plantain, probably plantain field. You're looking right here for a bad guy camp. And you look over there for a pile of schmutz in the river. So the bad guy camp will be right here. They'll have one shooter and three tanks. Take them out. Come this way. Crash cart, bronze axe, maybe two bronze axes from the Department of Redundancy Department. Then you'll have a couple of sacks here. Cross the bridge. Go jump in the lake. Did that give me clean? Clean enough. There'll be a pile of stuff here. It'll just have some hops in it. Kind of sucks. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you. Hope you have a, a good night's rest. And we will see you next time. Check out those shorts on my on my page, though. You'll get a kick out of how those guys explode. I mean, I shot a dude in the face from range, and he literally almost did a backflip. And that's it. Hey, you up? Oh, well, there's one more thing we didn't touch. And that is you go up the hill to the crash cart. That's where I started this. But then when you're at the crash cart, you go off to the west to the trees. So I'm going to put you in a position where you can see this. In case you're an FNG to the game, freaking new guy or gal, it's a military term. It'll be all right. Okay, crash cart is there. Come over here, and you look at those. Oh, actually, crash cart's up here. Let's get in position. Where, oh, where is the crash cart? Okay, we'll be right here. And you'll find three potions and then a little package with a couple of cherries in it. Keep the potion of sobriety. You're going to need that. All right, see those trees right there? We're going to run towards those trees. We're running, we're running, we're running. And I ran. I ran so far away. I couldn't get away. And there's the trunk. Hooray. And there you'll pick up another couple hundred coins and a potion of strength. And a wooden shovel if you want it. But I don't. We're almost maxed on weight anyway. So now we can head home. Time is it? Oh, it's after midnight. We're going to let it all hang out. Well, Eric Clapner there. I like that Eric Clapner fella. What the hell are you saying, A-Train? <sighs> I'd have to explain it. Back when Bill Clinton was the president, he had a lady who was his surgeon general named Jocelyn Elders. And I think famously she was the first black Surgeon General of the United States. And she did an interview with something about Eric Clapton, and she calls him Eric Clapner. I like that Eric Clapner fella. She said his name wrong like three times. Eric Clapner. It was hilarious. Um, do we want to check? Do we? Do we really want to check? Do we? I kind of feel like we do. 
because I really want to shoot someone in the face. So we're going to head up the hill and see if the bad guys are there. But first, where are we on food? 32. How much is the... I thought I had some bread. Oh, I do. Rye. That's 80. That's close enough. If it's within 10 points, I'll go ahead and eat it. Otherwise, you might as well just keep burning down your food so you get the full use out of it. All right. So here is the path of the righteous man. Now we're, oh, the ca oh, nice. I don't know if there's, if we haven't kicked that or not. We're going to strafe right off the path because we're going to get to the high ground. I have the high ground, Anakin. And, oh, there's no bad guy camp. Damn, that sucks. All right. Go back to the crash cart. See what kind of stuff we get here. What do we got here? There's, oh, nice. Bronze sickle and some flax stalks. Which means these can be made into um, linen thread. Flax is when it's harvested. And another bronze sickle. So same thing as last time. So we've got a plethora of bronze sickles. A trains used bronze sickle store. We have piggies on the left. If they yak at us, we're going after them. No foxies. Y'all just keep out of the way. Thank you. I'm going this way. Oh, piggy. Not that I care about. I just don't want to engage them right now when we get home. Because that is going to wrap up the episode. We're through two days of the, of the season. And this is the way we roll. Roll Tide. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I got to go wake my brother up. Nope, not there. Over here. There you go. Now we got all the freaking <laughs> dumbass. Now we got all the uh, stuff's done. All right, let's dump off all this crap. We got so much stuff. Bronze spears, Brittany spears, pickle spears, copper sickles. We got all kinds of farming implements that trip. Uh, we'll put the seed in there. Flat straw hat, we can sell that. Flax stock, our girl can make that. Fur, stupid wolves. Uh, extra iron axe because I want to ask you some questions. Iron chevelle. Leather. You can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. That goes in food storage. See, I'm, I'm telling you guys, we just ran the looting path. You see how much crap we just came back with? And you could sell that stuff for good money, especially the tools. And if you get clothing, that's a big freaking bonus because that shite's gotten expensive. Boom. Done. Now we're down to 20. And we got some we got some seeds to chuck. And that's probably what we're going to be starting off the next episode with. Oh, I got dried meat to get rid of too. Let's eat that real quick, I guess. Oh, no, I'm, already, I'm full up on food. What we do need to do is check our buckets go fill those up real quick okay keep your people hydrated because dehydration is the devil well guys if you haven't yet make sure to go uh like and subscribe to uh Gwen the shield maiden remember back when i was first talking about her we were playing on that ox but i couldn't remember her name and uh couldn't remember the, the what came after shield so i just start making stuff up shield maker shield master shield basher she's a shield painter actually she has a shield i saw the picture it was behind her there we go now we got high quality h2o 25 buckets of water so this is 250 250 servings of water each bucket's 
10 servings each. Okay. I didn't get water while I was up there. That was dumb. I'm still a little stinky. Let me wait. Oh, God. It's going to be getting daylight soon. Gwen does other games like I do, but she does other games that are it's kind of similar to a sploosh. Um, but Gwen and the Gooseheads, they're a fun bunch to watch. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how we do that. Oh no, we've got a freaking uh, crap on a steak. All right, let me do a quick save because we're about to bail anyway. And we have a quest. All right, so I'm actually. People of science, learn how to eat from this. We learn from road signs. We learn from road signs. Okay, let me escape here, do photo mode, hit that. All right. So let's, ah, oh, poop. That was dumb. Smack my mouse up. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Go back to this and then hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that, 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 that. Hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that, 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 that. All right. So we crop this like that ish. Sure. Done. Save as. That's going to be our thumbnail for next time. Save as. And that's going to be episode 17 in the valley. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A medieval dynasty now available on Steam from RenderCube Games. Toplitz Productions. Make sure you go check you out some of this. Because it is definitely worth the money. It ain't, it ain't much. And you will get more than your money's worth out of it. I'm just saying. So, thanks for watching, gang. Please like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. We'll have to get the uh, names of the other two chicky poos next time. Hopefully Autumn will be here because she's in charge of that. She's slacking tonight. She may have the grandkids, so that's okay. They may have severe weather going on, too, actually. There was stuff down in Florida. That's close to South Carolina, and you know, if you know geography. So it could be up in her area, too. So hopefully she's all right. But anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Join us on Discord. There's a link in the description below, as is a link to our PayPal if you want to make a donation to help support the channel. We greatly appreciate it. PayPal.me slash Games. Link in the description below. So like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. Check out the... Um, community tab you see the nice salmon dinner i cooked yeah just saying um but also there's uh other fun videos and stuff on there links information maps like the uh, looting path and the valley uh and the oxbow looting uh path maps they're available there uh throw a comment down in the question hey behaste i appreciate you sticking around buddy thank you so much i appreciate you coming by hope you enjoyed it and uh, to you and everyone else out there, I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning. Wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond, I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.